G'day everybody and welcome back for some more Flyed Lice on Aries at War with me and Black Shadow. Bless you. And Lego Capac. Super Lego Capac. Oh yes, because of the cape. <laughs> I do love how that accidentally <laughs> happened. <laughs> yes. Oh, okay. Uh, so. We were talking last stream about what we were going to do with our base. Yes. And one of the ideas that I had was to make this with walls around it that have defenses and that sort of thing that kind of has some... The, the best idea I could think of at the time was like the, the base is on Klendathu in Starship Troopers and it's that kind of wall with a bunch of gunnery positions up the top. But then, I was reading the uh, comments on the VOD from last week, and it was suggested that since we've gone with the RVs at war thing, maybe we should be building a truck stop. Yeah. And then, I realized that those two ideas do not need to be mutually exclusive. They can work together. Because you can have a truck stop inside a base with walls that are defended. Yeah. Yeah. A fortified truck stop, exactly. So I am going to say, I am going to let you take the lead on this. Because you sound like you have an idea on how <laughs> to do the layout. <laughs> uh, to an extent, yeah. What we need to do first, though... And I think we may actually want to abandon this position temporarily. What? Trust me. I, think I we, don't. I think we need... <laughs> I think we need to temporarily abandon this position. Go off into the hills. Make a basic resource base. Because we're going to need to do that together. Because we're not going to have enough resources for us to both work on separate projects until we do this. Make that resource base. Then come back here with that resource capability close at hand. Yeah. And sure. when we when we do the move back, that's when you come in with the let's build a drone to transfer the resources back across. Now you're talking in my language. I yes. thought I, I yes. thought I could get you with that bit. <laughs> Why didn't you start with that? I would have been way more excited. More fun to let you take the roller coaster of emotions with it. Oh, mm. I'm bored too. Oh, hello. <laughs> now I'm interested. So yeah, I I realize because if we start trying to produce resources here, we're gonna make a whole big mess of the place, and then realize that we regret something we did. That's my assumption. And because yeah. we've got kind of a, a nice setting here to work from, I figured if we drive towards the mountains over there, we should be able to bring the components for this refinery, the components for this assembler, and the cargo container. And we've already got all the resources on the truck, so if we drive over there, make a little hookup for the truck, put the refinery back down, put a wind turbine back down, etc., we should be able to get going a bit more quickly. So I may or may not have a very stupid idea. What if we build the refinery somewhere in cargo container with a connector on, like, connected to the thing? So basically dig this out of the ground so that it's not static. And we can uh, literally I don't place it the on the rover. Yeah, I mean, like, rebuild it. Not oh yeah, yeah, I'm grinding it, it down right now. Wow, efficient. <laughs> I already, I've started offloading the stuff that was in the cargo container. <laughs> That was, that was my, my contribution to the plan. Hey, Elemental, thank you for the 100 bits. Thanks, Keldark, for... Ooh, just shy of two years. Thank you very much. Thank you, Paladol, for the gift sub. Thank you, Battlestorm. How's it going? Thank you for the 100 bits. And Talison. <laughs> thank you so much for the 10 gift subs. Also, does my voice sound weird to anybody else? Sounds really weird to me, but I don't know if my hearing's just going funny. Well, you are weird, but that's besides the fact you do sound a little bit off. Do sound a little bit off, okay. It's not just me. 
Also, D2 old GR, no idea how I should properly pronounce your name. Please correct me if it bothers you. But thanks so much for the prime sub and elemental. Thank you for the creepy high shadow with the 100 bits. I will never get used to that lady saying that to me. I I not thought, in that accent. Gee, that was a really rude comment to say to elemental. <laughs> 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 Thank you, Leather Boy, for the 100 bits. Uh, Charlie decided to stay in her crate, so I'll have to give her a treat later. And thank Aww. you, Silly String, for 25 months. And how Dark goes March's... for the seven month reason. Uh, how oh, goes March's Titan. quest towards the 300 points? Uh, 118, I think it was when I checked this morning. I, uh, I just called... On target. Uh, I just got called Shadow. Shadow? Who got? Who called you Shadow? The lady. Oh, hi DCS Shadu. Lady. <laughs> yeah. I don't know how Oh, I think I know how you'd but make you, the Titan. lady say shadow. It would have to be S H A D O H H H H H H H H H to do a long oh. I think you'd have to do it that way. But thank you for the 100 bits and the gift sub. Inventory full. I should probably help you out, shouldn't I? I mean, you could have contributed. That would have been good. Still oh, can. <laughs> I mean, if you want me to stop, I, I'd happily stop. That's a floating wind turbine. Alright, let's get the wind turbines. I'm, I want to say, like, I'm seeing things, but rather I'm not seeing things. You're unseeing you know? things. Yes. You unsee. Mm -hmm. So you only see living people. Maybe. Or oh, undead? Are you undead? Uh, it depends oh. on the day. Are clones alive? <laughs> Are clones real people? So, one of the thoughts I had that oh. also might appeal to you, Shadow, because you wanted to build the underground hangar space, was an underground tunnel network that allows us to connect all these grids to each other. That we're planning on building. Yeah, I am going to need your help with surfacing from those tunnels though, but that is something I'm down for. Yeah, so what I thought... And we can also have maintenance tunnels. Yeah, yeah. That was along the lines I was going from. Um, what I thought with that was... If you dig down and then try and find that tunnel rather than digging up, you're going to get exactly where you want. True. Yeah. Yes, I can mess up the underground because it's easier to cover it up. Uh, do you want to bring your noise? It is currently not in the most functional states. Oh? It's lacking some parts. Oh! Connectors more specifically. Can we fix that? Because we should have the parts. Uh, yeah, let me check. <laughs> okay, Nuki, I mean, I don't disagree with you there, but uh, that's a little bit dark. No skull, no, you're not getting my skull for your throne. Oh. <laughs> uh, but... Oh. Hang on, you said connector. Let me grab the parts for a connector. Why didn't I just fly here in the bubble? Oh, right. I need a bunch of computers. That's what I'm missing. Oh, we should be okay, because we made a few with the assembler before I tore it down. Yep, because I also ground down my cargo containers. Well, we just got to fix your connector first, then we'll bring you over and we can fix you up once we build the assembler again. I can't be fixed. I'm permanently broken. There you go. Oh, you need this Thank one fixed too. I'll be back. Uh, not specifically. I'm flying this thing. Hang on. Oh, right, right. You don't need that because you can merge block to it rather than connect it to it. That as well. Uh... Thanks, D3. Thank you for continuing Dot Bartman's gift sub. <laughs> thank you for the 100 bits, Titan. And also, Nuki, thank you for the 100. Uh, so I'm going to have to be really Sorry, careful dude. I don't run over Kapak here. Uh, I might need to do a reconnect because I cannot see... 
the static grids from far away, so I have oh, a big chance the interior of running into it. The interior walls. Yeah. Yeah, that happens. It's really annoying. What? Like I said. What did I hit? I have no idea. The thing is, that can happen in um, any multiplayer setting. Oh, Shadow, um, while I'm holding Kapak on here, can you lock him down once you get out of your trolley thing? Thanks, what team. are you doing to him? I'm just trying to get him stuck back on the truck. He's just trying to hold on. You are pressing his face. He's locked, by the way, but you're pressing his face against the cargo container. Uh, he's trying Have to you no respect for Kapak? No, he's trying to hold on with his hands. He wanted to get the buffeting on his cape from the thrusters. And you know that is 100% what Kapak would do. Yeah, no, I have no comment or argument here. <laughs> <laughs> it's He's like Fry with the thrusters on the Planet Express ship, trying to get the best lift he can from his hair. Also a massive dose of radiation. Yeah. Yeah, we do have some computers. Yeah, as long as we've still got 160 left, mm -hmm. we're all good. Okay, I think I will connect the bubble to the miner, uh, block the miner, and then as you move, I can do the quick reconnect. Okay. That's the most efficient use of the time. Oh yeah, we have 317 computers, we're fine. And connected. See, I thought I'd oh. had it. Hey! Not for reason to drop the bubble. It just fixed my issue. Oh, nice. <laughs> oh, wait. Uh, no. T uh, spectator cam probably wouldn't have fixed it. No, I think it was a grid update that I needed to do. Uh. Uh, that how am I the other way. And the other way is a oh, bit more... Oh, that's right, it was tight either yeah. way, wasn't it? Yeah. I'm tempted to just dock on the back one. Yeah, do it. I'm just worried that we're gonna smack into each other. The other um, option is use your landing gear. Uh, I'd rather be able to... Leech a little bit of power from you. Okay. Off we go. we go. And Gate, thank you for converting your prime sub to a tier 1 sub. Goodbye, Trey, sorry. And so when do you apologize to trees? You uh. are not Splitzy. <laughs> Who are you? Hey, I like trees. I just... They they just get in the way. Uh-huh, uh-huh. The skull That's... does not look like a bubble. Oh, the bubble does not look like a skull. <laughs> I mean, I can see how it might to some people. Uh... Shadow, what did ins? Oh, I remember what inspired the the mini cap hack. It was the and then uh, you wanting to make a customized version rather than the little ball. So it was more compact. Yeah. Sure, that's totally what I had intended that thing to be. <clears throat> you were gonna hide it somewhere. Yeah, I was gonna have it play fun music every twelve minutes. And then place it somewhere where you can find it. Right. <laughs> but as soon as you started turning it into Capac, I was like, I'm just going to let this happen. Yeah, it's more fun. <laughs> you got to let the more and fun options happen, this. even if you're thinking of something completely devious to begin with. He's better. I wouldn't say it was more fun, but it did end up being very fun. Uh, but, 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 but. It, it, it created story. It created fun for two rather than fun for one. 
So you're just excluding Twitch chat here? Unintentionally, but yes. <laughs> Think of the dino dances that would have been in a stream. Ugh. What do I need you to get mean? Time to... No, it's just a reminder that I need to get time to make a little emote of the space engineer dancing. Ah. Doing each of the dance moves. Thanks, Thanos. Thanos. Thank you for four oh. months, six months. And, and thank you for three months over here. Yeah. And thank you, Team Joe, for the prime sub. Uh oh. I don't like it when the truck Just starts the accelerating tree. without me. So our mine is going to be quite close to GCHQ. Yeah. Seems to be the case. That's okay. Arboretum are targets for great sadness. Yes, they are. Ooh. Sad story, that one. <laughs> Arboretums are also why I learned much better how to control spawns in games. <laughs> Space engineers. <laughs> <laughs> I learned much. Hey, Coldsmore. Welcome in. Through pain comes useful lessons. Sometimes. It's like, oh, don't touch that. It's hot. Pain teaches. Don't play with reefers. They ruin nice things. Yeah. Yeah. Like, Survival Impossible is kind of where I learned the lesson of maybe sometimes just don't play always with bad guys that can destroy your entire base. Maybe just sometimes let yourself build with no real purpose and no real end goal and just the purpose is, well, this will be fun to build. And maybe find your challenge elsewhere. Yeah. I think that's a bit more imposed upon yourself rather than, well thrown literally at you yeah the the external goal setting was um something i was very keen on and then i learnt that maybe it's not the best approach because having an internal goal allows you more flexibility to adapt as you go forward yeah uh any reason why enshrouded wasn't uploaded last week uh yeah i forgot I just straight up forgot. I uploaded RVs of War. I released RVs of War. I worked on getting the next Scrapyard video done. I worked on getting AA done. And it got to the weekend and I was like, oh cool, I'll release my next Underground alone. And I went, wait a second. Something's wrong here. I've forgotten something. <laughs> I've forgotten something. And that thing I forgot was the Enshrouded book. Uh, it should come out tonight. Which I know doesn't really help if you were catching up to watch the stream after this, but yeah, whoops. That poor Sorry. tree. It was already dead. Did I hit one of the dead trees? Yeah, you did. I didn't even see it. Wow. wow. Gone and forgotten. Oh, I'm not sure what that means. Like, do I see dead trees? It's possible we don't see the same trees. Maybe. It would make sense if we don't see the same trees because of the whole uh, Invisi tree thing. Yeah. What is your plan here? Uh, stop about here. Uh, just trying is to this find... at the iron? No, this is just a mountain. Oh. I don't think we have easy access to any iron via driving. From what I remember of the map. Yeah, no, it does not seem to be the case. So I was just going to make a big dirt mine up here. Oh, that's what you mean. Yeah, that's why I thought having both of the mining vehicles and then we go... Our first goal is get the refineries down and have 
the ability for our mining vehicles to drop off stone to get refined and then we build ourselves some sort of big piston rotor rig to get lots and lots and lots but we dig into yeah. the mountain so, so when do we run entrance. away when the dragon comes like when are we expecting the dragon to move in i'm not worried about dragons more about balrogs ah Thanks, people bum. Uh, yeah. Oh, good job. You're out of the way of the stairs. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> you shouldn't you checked up before pressing the button? <laughs> I didn't even think about it. I hit the button and was like, oh yeah, I should probably check that. Uh -huh, uh -huh. <clears throat> so, just going to chop down this tree because it's going to be in the way. Whoa. Oh, that'd be exotic. Thanks so much for the day one sub. Uh, what's this about? Ah! This, this scenario I'm being attacked by a tree. is called Aries at War. Uh, Shadow and I decided to come up with our own starting situation and we built an RV. So it got the name RVs at War. It is a series where we are attempting to build up to a point where we can fight against and take on all of the evilness in this system so that we can become the only evilness in this system. There you go. What I was wondering is this the link to the, the yeah. Steam thing. There we go. Thank you so much, Bartman. <laughs> Thank you for the 20 gift subs. Thank you very much. And welcome, Bowman Duke. So... Oh, uh, yeah, base. We need a base. Uh, which yeah, I was about to say, like, I'm hovering here, but um, should I start mining or... Oh, no. I don't know if the... Do you remember... Did you uh, keep details of the color that we picked last week? I think my color's reset, but also Same. I just press B. Um, it was a dark reddish color. It was towards the purplish bit wasn't it rather than the orange it's like 350 I think so uh 7100 no not not that much vibrance oh. value whatever it is what? Five? what is happening uh Lang? you do not Lang? look like that Did on I... my end so it's just uh yeah locational weirdness Could you do me a favor? Uh, what's the favor? Put your remote control into my machine and put it on the ground. I think I might need a reconnect and uh, I am not comfortable not leaving this. In it. I'll make it main remote control. Object is being used by somebody else. There <clears> we go. Try now. Object is being used by somebody else. Dang. Well, then guide me, because I... Uh, <laughs> you are approximately five meters off the ground. Your drills will hit first, so you can just lower down until you hit. Yeah, no, I, I'm okay oh. now. <laughs> Did you just yeah, need no, me to I, come close to it and it reset it? I think so, but I'm going to reload anyway, because that was absolutely scary. <laughs> like, Fair enough. <laughs> It almost felt like I was back on that uh, launcher. How unstable it became. Wow. <laughs> I'm gonna oh, go I... at my launcher. It's It scared me, okay? Well, actually, you scared me with it. That's how it happened. Like, the launcher itself is okay. The launcher was amazing. Seem... The launcher got us to space with nearly no fuel usage. True, true. But it almost cost the bubble its life because of you. How so? Need I remind you uh, of what happened you when need. I tried to attach that? That's it. I'm getting the clip. <laughs> no, I remember now. I remember now. Mm. Took me a moment, but once you said <laughs> what you said, I was like, oh wait, yeah, no, now I remember. You attached it. Everything went really haywire, and then you had to turn your inertial dampeners off, and then everything was fine. 
Or I wouldn't say it was fine. Or what actually happened, which was you connected, didn't turn off your inertial dampeners, and it went haywire. You released it and somehow survived through epic pilot skill and luck. You're not sweet talking your way out of this. I just said luck. Where's the sweet talking? Mm -mm. <laughs> but you can't have luck without skill, I reckon. Because you make your own luck in a lot of situations. I just managed to appease Clang in the right ways. Okay, a couple of refineries placed. Let's get some power down first. Luck is where skill meets opportunity. Yeah, yeah, that that line. That's the one I like. Interior blade, give her charm. Oh, suddenly it's brighter. Daylight is beginning. One way to say it, I suppose. You don't like the way I said it. Um, <laughs> I sure have opinions on the way stuff is said, yes. What are you... Wait, huh? What do you mean what am I doing? Oh no, never mind. I'm making a no, base. But, uh, I thought oh, it wasn't aligned to, to gravity, shit. but I wasn't aligned. Oh. <laughs> I thought I was, but I had to go onto the ground, so... Also, where do you want me to dig? Just anywhere? Um, so... Anywhere on a horizontal... Yeah, I think line? the direction you're heading at the moment, dig into the mountain on a horizontal line, but you can probably come down and right about 15 meters. Because then you'll be almost down at the height of the truck. But yeah, anywhere around there, just dig a big hole in there, and we'll uh, we'll make a big entryway onto it that's all stylized and pretty. Uh, Thanks, MB Exotic. Thank you for two months. Enough of casual tree. <laughs> Another casual tree. Yeah. Was that was you that a me. weird twist on casualty? Yes. I like it. Uh, I should probably oh, get my gyros on off right then. I'm not gonna be turning. Ooh, gyros off right. On. Before I do that, however, I first well, need work. to check are any overrides currently enabled. No. Why, why okay. would you have had overrides enabled? Uh, this thing does have a script, so if the script. <gasps> And uh, it, abruptly, yeah, yeah, yeah. it might have a small amount of overrides, and I'd never not have that happen. Yeah, fair play. Oh, uh, Shadow. Could I borrow yeah. you for a second? As uh, a building platform to stand upon and build this tower more quickly? I can bring you to the miner. No, no, I need to stand on top of your ship while you fly over here. Uh, sure. If you can jump up. Oh, well, that went further than I meant to. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that was almost you a spicy maniac. meatball. That's a spicy meatball. Uh, reckon that's tall enough? One, two, three, I think four, it five, would six. make sense to have it a little bit taller, like three more. Well, there goes one block. Go high and roll. Well, Spitzy's lucky I have my overrides enabled right now. Okay, I might need to go down and get the parts for this, because I forgot some of them. <sighs> That's okay. It didn't take me long to jump off here. But this is going to make it so much quicker for making towers, because um... I don't have to make stairs. You should be able to connect to the top of that offer miner, you absolute booper! Huh? Why do you make stuff difficult? <laughs> I 
I feel at this point it's just my brand. Oh hey, <sighs> I'm kind of sandwiched in here. You could go up really quick and didn't fling me off. I accept that challenge. Whoa, 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 whoa! <laughs> it's more to go down quickly, I suppose. That's the problem. Yeah, I don't think I can go down that quickly. I don't have downwards for us. It seems difficult in Aussie slang. Uh, Blood Talon, glad you've been liking the underground alone stuff. Uh, I should probably build a second tower. I was trying to see how much power okay. that would make, but I couldn't Before see. Before you jump off, please grab the miner. Grab Whilst it? Whilst we're here. Yeah, so you can put it on the ground here. Oh, uh, Before I sure. need to lift you up there anyway. There you go. I think I could get in from the back there, but it was tricky. So I'd probably... You're probably right, and this was a better move. I was not going to pick you up again if I didn't help it. Wow. It's just more efficient this way. Yeah, but efficiency versus fun. fun that's going to be my excuse. Uh, I guess two turbines will be enough initially. Or should we go three? There we go, three. I'll start building the towers for the next two, and then um, get you to fly me up to them. Thanks, Nilsteam. It feels so wrong stuff. to mine stone. Doesn't it? With a miner? Feels real this weird. This big? Yeah. <laughs> I, I can press 6 and poop out all the stone I'm mining. That's why it feels so wrong as well. <laughs> well, I'm I'm gonna get... It won't be, it won't be too long before you can uh, offload into this base. Oh, I'm one. not even half full yet, so don't rush. Or do. Oh no! Oh no! No! I yes? did bad. Oh no. What did you do this time? At this point, would it be worthwhile to just get an automated miner? No. Okay. Not at this point. In the future, yes, at this point, no. I mean, I can literally add a programmable block to the other miner and have it mine automatically. We don't have anywhere for it to drop off to. We don't have anywhere for it to actually yeah, okay. get the resources processed. <laughs> so, no, I don't think there is any point to it. <laughs> We've... That's it. You're getting a few steps ahead. We're like... I, I'm not planning. We're back at the beginning again. Alright, I'm ready for my lift. You need uppies. I need uppies. Ideally, yes, you need to have 20 meters between each turbine. Do I care about ideal? No. No, I do not. So am I just building uh, what I feel like looks nice? Bubble. Yes. I yes, I am. You'll lift me with the bubble. Yeah. Ah, okay. Oh, yeah, fair play, because you've got all the stone on board. You probably don't want to be lifting that. Whoa. Whoa, whoa. Hang on, I was going to try and jump on top. There we go. <laughs> you really need to let me know of those things if you end up doing those. So do we want to go the same height as the other one or one block shorter? Mm. I might as well go the same height. I mean, we can follow the terrain a little, but they are relatively equal height, so maybe make the next one a bit shorter. 
Do you have all the parts this time? I do, yes. Good job. Ooh. Ah. You know how it goes with space engineers and things randomly moving just as you go to click. And I also know that it was entirely your fault for not waiting a moment. So I was trying to make it so you didn't have to hang out here so long. I was trying to do the right thing. There you go, 491 kilowatts each. Probably slightly less from the middle one. That will be fine. Here you go. Thank you. I will get the assembler built right away. I need a platform module. <laughs> uh, I mean, the best part about that is I do. Especially if we are going to build the main base. Yeah, because honestly, this way of building is so much more efficient, even though we're both oh. being you like our both my time and your time is being used to do it. It is so much more efficient. For us to build together this way because of the amount of time it takes to build on our own. Alright, so you need you need an up, trust. you need an upward facing connector for your mining vehicle. Yep. Yep. I, oh, I need a vertical connector, yeah. Oh. No random start conveyor in my face. You. I guess. Uh, should we weld up one of the refineries so I can do some manual offloading? Uh, no, because I've got a connector coming here. And we've got resources on the vehicle, so we should be able to build all of the components required for the connection relatively quickly. Uh, but yeah, okay. I've... Now, actually, no. The, now the assembly is built. Yes, yes, you should build a refinery. What am I saying? Of course you should build a refinery. We need the refinery. Uh... We've got the materials that we can make everything. Oh... <laughs> I just wanted to make sure that the assembler was built first. Because I knew we had iron and stuff in the truck. And and we do have a survival kit, technically, as well, if we really are desperate. Also, you need to move your bubble. What? Oh, yay. Yeah, I, I shall. Would you prefer I move it? No. Because I know that's not you the case. <laughs> Why not build a connector straight on top of the refinery? Uh, aesthetics... My desired ideas for this base... That's kind of the entire reason. I don't I don't have a functional reason not to. Hey Tex, how's it going? Okay, let's move some ingots across. Ingots. Ingots. In guns? Yes. Oh. I may have made that more difficult I... than I wanted to. Hmm. Yeah! I don't know if I... The... Are you okay? Um... I just teleported somewhere and I didn't expect it and was very confused by it. Yeah, and you scared me again. Apparently that's just a thing I do. You are a very scary person, yes. Going good even though I someone stole an hour while I wasn't looking last night. Ah, uh, yes, the joys of Australians heading into our winter. Because that means you guys are heading into your summers, which means... The time difference between me and North America and Europe is less. Soon by two hours less. Which is not super favorable for me. <laughs> Text disagrees, Shadow. Apparently I'm a nice individual who does scary things. I'm not sure how Shadow feels about that com that comment. <laughs> I get the impression I mean, you don't I... agree. 
I agree on the nice person front, but hmm, definitely scary as well. <laughs> yeah, so Tex, because you guys move an hour forward and on April 7th we move an hour back, uh, it takes the time difference, say, from European time from 11 hours down to 9. And for a lot of the US, from like 16 to 14. Uh, Shadow? Yeah? Are all your thrusters burning hard on your end too? No. Oh, wait, must just be graphic. How about this? Better now? Yes. What was going on there? I'm guessing some desync, but I just quickly did the cross in every direction trick. Oh, okay. Um. Would you mind hopping off that connector just for a second? Because I need to make these conveyors. So then we have a cargo access down here, and I really should have built a cargo container. I mean, you had... Oh wait, no, you didn't have cargo access from the refinery because it's not hooked up yet! Yay! Because exactly. we didn't have data. any interior plate. Also, I think the next thing we should get is a battery. Uh... Okay. Uh, we are currently not on the iron spot, no. We're just at a mountain. We're just we at a nearby mountain mining. that's a short enough drive away that we should be able to shift resources from here back to base with relative ease with our truck. Alright, so the next thing I'm- oh wait, cobalt. I haven't transferred cobalt for us. There you go, you're good, you can land again. Yay! Um, Bonk. my my vision here is to build this up as a facility to process the stone quickly and be able to then mine some stone here too, such that we can hopefully um, use this as a place to transfer refined ingots from back to our base, where then we can process those ingots into whatever we want, because ingots transfer is a lot more reliable and probably a lot more practical than transferring components, because volume, and if we transfer components, then we've got to deal with, have we brought the right components this time? How do we know how much we need? And blah 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 blah. Much better to just transfer all the iron, all the nickel, all the silicon, and that we can, that we make. Yeah. I was thinking, unless That's you good. disagree, Shadow. The logic adds up. Yay! Well, I'm currently just waiting on making a drone. I'm excited about Automate, automate, automate! Yeah, I guess once we've got a couple of refineries up um, and some cargo storage, we probably can uh, think about where we're going to make the drone's docking port. And build that because the connector that I built for you currently I'm thinking of as as a very temporary one mm -hmm. <clears throat> and we can make a more permanent one after yeah like I'm thinking maybe a proper pad to the hmm actually uh let me quickly get out oh shadow I got an idea oh what if you build the pad over on the other side of the entryway to the mine and you build a little bridge over? Yeah. That could look cool. Although this entryway is going to be way bigger as well. Yeah, but I thought it could be bigger towards where the refineries are. Uh, like, look how I far away I'm standing a... as well. Yeah, okay. Um, so I was thinking if you make the bridge kind of arch up and then go flat and then come down or something like that. So that the entryway is nice and tall as well. Would look kind yeah. of cool. 
Because, I mean, all you got to do is get the, like, make it walkable and make it, um, have enough stuff for, for the conveyor room, the, like the room for the conveyors. Yeah. Oh, that's a very good point, Arkaville. And with ingots, you won't need large conveyors on small grid. Yeah, that's another another big reason to transfer ingots rather than transfer components. Okay. Let's get some power efficiency modules going. Hmm. Uh, my mining module is currently supplying the power to that thing as well. This thing, I still have them on auto. Okay. I oh. have, um... That, well, that was one of the reasons to go straight for power efficiency, because if I can put two of them on the refinery, at least that substantially reduces its power consumption. I was going to do the same with the assembler, put two power and two, um, speed on the assembler, eventually, but focusing on building the power ones first. Yeah. And I imagine the stone is still refining slowly. Yeah, there's heaps of stone here. Hon honestly, Triax, yeah, I am. <laughs> I am finding it mm -hmm. much more fun working cooperatively with Shadow to... Um, help me as a building platform than building my own that can do the same job. I mean, we are playing co-op for a reason, so yeah, I do agree. <laughs> there have been, over the years, there have been a few comments on, like, YouTube from people being like, why do you force Capac to do so much stuff? I'm like, because I want to play together. And <laughs> if I don't force him, he doesn't. He plays solo with people around. That's the point. It's the point. I want to play together. I play co-op to play co-op. More fun. That is a lot of stuff. Yeah, I queued up the um, parts for the power efficiency modules for the refinery and the rear and the assembly. Oh. And I saw the twenty what? power cells, and I was like, small grid, large batteries. I usually don't go for power efficiency. Um, the reason I, the reason, only reason I am here is because I didn't want to have to bother getting so many more wind turbines up just now. And it will make us, it will get us the refinery done a bit more. Like, we can get a decent balance of benefits out of them. Because on the refineries, two power efficiency, two speed means we've got three refinery equivalents but at a third of the power for each one so the three of them will cost as much as one refinery that makes sense i think it does sure. uh survival impossible would not be more fun with extra people contributing completely disagree um the fun of survival impossible and that style of play is being able to take my time and really think through what I want to do with a build and then spend ages on any particular part that I feel like doing. Uh, as soon as you add other people in, that completely destroys the nature of that. Uh, other styles of play I think are better suited to co-op, but that one, for me, no, absolutely not. Like the, the scrapyard style of play. That's another slow style of play. That one is really fun when you've got other people who are as interested in playing that way as you are. <coughs> uh, first Ronan, I just, I, again, it's the whole, I'd rather do things co-op if I can. And you can't grind if you misplace a block if you're using a if you're using control G. 
So it has some downsides to it that are legitimate downsides. Yeah, Beeble Bum, that was kind of my intent. Oh. Um. Shadow. That is not the bridge itself, don't worry. Okay, because I'm like, the truck's not going to fit under that. Yeah, no, it is purely a bridging point. To go to the actual bridge. Also, under it? Yeah. What are you planning? To be able to park in the mine? In the mine. In the mine. I guess I'll... Yeah, sure. You know what? Why not? <laughs> the sound of defeat. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> I can't believe it's taken till we've... Pl till it's taken to the point where we've played RVs and war together for me to actually use the inventory access ports in industrial assemblers and refineries. I've never used them before. This series. I literally... I feel like I knew that they were there, but never used them. And it was just a comment on YouTube that made me go, Oh yeah, that's right, they do have those. And now I'm using it all the time in this. On the topic of the scrapyard, was the inventory for the survival kit basically disabled on purpose? I don't recall. It's possible that was on purpose. It's possible it was an accident. I actually don't know. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah, tracks, I always build the industrial variants because I like having the catwalks. Even if they don't always align to the other catwalks, but we don't talk about those. <laughs> Salty shadow. I mean, they, the bear. Do you not agree? <laughs> yeah. it, it it triggers me, and and it. Oh, it has you mean like emotional. the two the two thirds catwalk instead of half catwalk? Because they designed the industrial refinery before they designed the half catwalks. Yes. Yeah. I get what you mean. Yeah, that's unfortunate. I do wish Keen would be more uh, open to the idea of going back and redesigning things like that, but I understand also why they don't, because then that will make a mess of some people's previous designs, but I, I do think that it would be nice for some things to get some reworks and to just go through that pain to save much future pain. Also... If they do make a Space Engineers 2 with V-Rage 3, um, I really, really hope they have some very clear design documents for this stuff, for the artists, so that they have consistency. And do things like mirror blocks. So you just have a mirror option of every block, yeah. Oh, yes, please. I don't mind if I have to play yoga on my keyboard with my fingers. <laughs> yoga. Um, well, I mean, at the moment they have two methods of changing between block size. You can either press R to change block size, or you can press the number on the toolbar again. Why not just convert R to mirror? You don't need two methods to do the same thing. I mean, Regathian, you, you, you're right. I was just being generous. <laughs> Going from two-thirds to half probably isn't going to break anyone's design, but I understand why they didn't. I understand that that's part of the reason why they don't do these things. Even if they just change the visual and leave the collisions where they are, I think it'd probably be okay, because it doesn't look like I... Oh, maybe I do sort of get over close to that. But yeah. I think they originally did these at two-thirds, or kind of two-thirds-ish. 
probably to make it easier to navigate on these on the catwalks. But yeah, I hope I hope that if I hope that they can apply a lot of the lessons they've learned from Space Engineers and its longevity to whatever future game they make because having things like a very clear design document to follow of these things should be able to do either this, this or this so that they can all con they can all combine properly and that means that as you get more fancy designs as the game evolves things still will feel more consistent with each other or should I would think I assume a lot of games do that Thanks, Golabop. Thank you for 42 months. Ah, oh, the joys of Ares of War resource management. Now we just have to wait. We brought heaps more stuff with us this time, at least. Yeah, we're not starting from... Well, I was going to say we're not starting all over from stone mining, but... Um... <laughs> we kind of are. Oh. But a little bit more advanced. So, Shadow. Yes. Is this where the big bridge is going to be now? Yeah. Aha. Uh -huh. So you're doing like a mini bridge, then a big bridge? It's more like supports. Cool. Like a way to connect it so it's not just a hovering wire or platform or something. Okay. That always felt wrong to me in Space Engineers. Me too. Yes, I do have to clarify because I know somebody's gonna yell at me. It's too easy to cantilever stuff more than you should be able to in Space Engineers. And so I, I'm with you on that. I don't I don't cantilever stuff unless I've got unless it's within that realm of oh yeah, this this steel looking material should be able to support that. No. <coughs> you did not miss oh. any announcement about Space Engineers 2. Everything you see that says Space Engineers 2 is just making up rubbish and clickbait. It is V-Rage 3. Keen have not announced anything. But people are getting confused because they are using models of Space Engineers for testing purposes, not for functional yeah. purposes, as far as we are aware. And also... Because people keep using a 3DS Max rendered or um, GIMP. No, no, GIMP. What's the... What's the 3D... The free 3D thing? Um, Unreal? No. Ah. Uh, Blender. Thank you. Man. Oh. I don't know why I meant to blank on Blender. A Blender render of... <laughs> yeah. There's a blender That's render cool. of a space engineer scene with like cool lighting, and it's good. Like, if you're gonna use a picture like that, of course people are gonna get misled. And that is why I only take news from official sources. Gunslinger, considering Keen have announced that they plan two to three updates this year for space engineers, I'd say yes. <laughs> There are going to be many more updates to Space Engineers before we see any sort of Space Engineers 2. Also, they're working on an engine right now. That development they expect is going to take several years to do. So, I don't think we're going to see any new game till at least 2026, 2027. And honestly, I don't think Keen have to be in any sort of rush for this. Space Engineers 2, is it going to be 2077? Because <laughs> nothing competes on a level with Space Engineers building. Now try saying a blender render of Brenda. That was surprisingly easy. Uh, apparently, all of the stone has been refined. Good. 
Do you want to mine some more? Uh, yeah, I just finished laying down a block, so sure. Cool. What do you think? I might need to make the top a little bit more sturdy. But my idea is to also have a 5x3 LCD panel in the middle. So we can say welcome to... Oh, nice. Insert name here. Oh, that explains the scale. Yeah, nice. Yeah, I was thinking if I if I manage to build some sort of piston mining rig, we can get a relatively flat surface that's drivable. As long as I can transition it to the ground surface pretty well. Ah, okay. But yeah, I... Yeah, I, I was wondering about that, because I... There's no way I'm gonna get it that smooth for you to drive on. <laughs> we can... I mean, I'm pretty sure chat would be okay with me pulling out voxel hands just to make a drivable surface. Well, at the very least, I'm okay with it. Yeah. Which also means we can creep away fake gravel road. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, well, gravel. I, w I would love to quickly lay out a road from here to our base as well. Yeah. I'm okay I'm, with that. Because it, in this case, it would just be painting it onto the surface. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, Starship Evo is missing sense. the game part. It is a cool builder but it does it lacks the game loop at this stage and also starship evo i think is more um minecraft the large gc invasion fleet has been spotted orbiting the planet loris oh good time for us to leave yeah I'm very glad to not be there <laughs> right now sucks to be them <laughs> yeah. sucks to be all our things left behind there uh, okay. Oh, we might actually it? get the, our swing technology. Imagine if they could actually use that. That would be scary. Uh, but yes, I would agree with Tex on Empyreon flirted with challenging SE, then took a sharp right turn. Empyreon... <sighs> Empyreon was a really uh, fun game. Can you quickly help me out? Sorry to interrupt. What do Did I Did you take to out the landing gear? Ah. <laughs> from the miner? It's, um... At an inconvenient height? Yeah. It was a temporary thing that ended up not being very temporary. As all temporary things are. Indeed. I just need to temporarily build a quick factory to make my bigger factory. Meanwhile, yeah. my smallest factory is still the one producing most items. That is the way it goes. But yeah, any anything about Space Engineers 2 is pure speculation. So don't stress if you don't know what people are talking about, because neither do they. Although, from looking at some of the demos, I do wonder what type of game it's going to be. Like, it's definitely going to be an engineering game. I, I would not expect anything else from game software. Hmm. True. And especially with the volumetric water. That's what I'm very excited about. I want to make a water wheel and transfer mechanical power to somewhere. I want to make a dam. I want to channel my inner duchy and make a dam. <laughs> You want to drain the swamps and make yourself arable, flam uh, arable farmland? Arable farmland. <laughs> I need to build Flavorland. Yes. I I'm assuming that's what I was just talking about and just the Dutch name for it? Yeah, the land we created. Yeah. While all you other Europeans are fighting over land to steal from each other, we'll just make new land. Yeah. I mean, we weren't really using that for anything else. Oh my goodness, a crossover between Woob and... and King. Oh. Ooh. And for those unfamiliar, I would Woob prefer is not. the maker of Factoria. I, I'd prefer those two concepts remain uh, distinct. 
You sure? Yeah. But but trains. Yeah, but Factorio is a very different game. Yeah, okay, fair. Just just because I may or may not like both doesn't mean I want them together. Yeah, no, that's fair. <laughs> there is no consistency in the way that this underside of this platform is being made. <laughs> <laughs> there are different angles, there are different bits. It's it's just it's the ugliest do form I, of beauty ever. Do I even want to know? You started it. No, I yes. expanded upon it. Nope, you started the weirdness. You're lucky I'm not in my chest bubble right now. Honestly, you did start the weirdness. I built with like a particular style, and then you added to it, and it was different. And I'm like, okay. And then it got diff then it got different again. I'm like, okay. <laughs> what do you mean different again? The the slopes that are you being used in the under support area are all different. <laughs> it's great. Oh, you mean the connection to <laughs> the pillars? The big one. No, yeah. just to each pillar. Have a look at the different slopes that are used, and where they're placed. They're all different. <laughs> Actually, I, I do kind of like this. I, I do too, it, but I just wanted to point out to everyone that it was there, that oh, I knew it was there, so they didn't need to tell me it was there, because I know it's there and I know it's wrong and I don't care. They're onto you, Splits. Uh, oh. I didn't get a oh. message. Oh no, I don't know. I Imminent GC invasion of Loris, two hours. Uh, also, given we've ooh. got stuff there, are we going to be considered a threat? I can't imagine them not... Like, they can't be looking at just grids, right? I don't know. I'm fairly certain they're looking at player characters. We can hope. Right? <laughs> we can uh. hope. Thanks, Corbin! Thank you so much for the tier three for well for six months in advance as well. <laughs> Thank you very much. Okay. Space engineers and factorial. I would love to see a combination of those mechanics, but that's purely so you can have unique engineering challenges to building a factory. Yeah. And yeah. transport being a fun challenge as well. Actually, you know what? I take back what I said before because you're right. Woob or Wube. Is it Woob or Wube? Woob. Woob. I, I always say Woob. I always read it as Wube. That's probably because of um, a for that becoming a force of habit after trying oh. to learn Spanish. At that point, please just say Wubby. Wubby! <laughs> well, okay, I one actually of the reasons... hate... I love that. <laughs> you low-key hate me saying that? I love it and hate it. Like, it makes <laughs> me feel happy. <laughs> But also, it feels so wrong to call that. But anyway, continue. Uh, like, so, as a developer, I have the utmost respect for them because they've communicated with their community very well. They've always been very um, clear about what their goals were and how they were going to work and all that sort of stuff. So, we may have like a very good developer in that communication sense. They stuck to their guns yeah. on various different plans of things. And I, I I think they deserve props for what they did on that front. The If a game was designed from the outset to be a Space Engineers style builder, but with Factorio-esque scale, as in the progression to make more complex stuff required more interconnecting parts with an engineering focus, rather than just a scale focus, which I feel is what Factorio and Satisfactory have. Theirs is focused on scale rather than engineering. Then I think you could make an epic game out of that. But my worry is that it would be focused on scale, not engineering. Shadow's got a grinder out, so I feel like I've said something offensive. No, 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 no. I... 
<laughs> I mean, if you were, I would be looking at you entirely. I was thinking, like... <laughs> Thank you, mm. Peldenik, for the gift sub. I'm gonna say it now before I, I die. <laughs> <laughs> Calm down. You're fine. But... The thing with, if you add in engineering, you can eventually make it so that a player can unlock more advanced ways of doing things that would be more efficient rather than having to scale it up. Uh, yeah, it, it can yeah. be a scaling thing. I guess, I guess the, the, the thing that often gets me is... Um, when people talk about tiers of building tiers of blocks within Space Engineers. I don't want block tiers. I want meaningful choice. So why... So if they're going to do that, then those more advanced ones should only be good at the advanced stuff and terrible at the rest of it, so you still need to build the other things. So that you still have to choose between which one you want to build where. Oh, don't Nothing. give them a reason to rebuild, in a way? I'd rather have more advanced things be made by more advanced things. Exactly. Because one of the yeah, things I, I dislike about I Space Engineers in its current iteration is that the basic assembler and basic refinery have basically no point. You build them to get to the good ones, and then you never build them again. Yeah. Because why sad. would you get a smelter for stone, even? Like a basic refinery. Yeah. Like it's less efficient than a survival kit. Yeah. And... That's it's just sad. Yeah. Like, we we should be able to use those blocks meaningfully for other things. Uh, Flair, we are definitely not talking about industrial overhaul. With no, this. no, I I am not. I'm not a industrial overhaul fan. Um, I don't think that style of play works in Space Engineers. As a mod, it if you could build it as a core, as the core game, perhaps it would work. But as a mm -hmm. mod. Space Engineers just does not support that style of play in any way that makes it, to my mind, f properly functional. It just ends up becoming in... Like, the fact that you have to... You're basically forced with IO to play with an inventory manager. Yeah, no, that... But I feel like that is also mostly game engine limitation. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, Clockwork did a great job trying to make it work, but I just don't think it does for me. So, like, if, I... you, if you're someone who really enjoys that style of gameplay, I think it probably works for you. Because it's as close as approximate... It's as close an approximation of that style of play that you're going to get in Space Engineers. As we've discussed, I'm not that kind of player. I don't really dig the whole industry for industry's sake. Yeah, personally, I do love that about industrial overhaul to have machines dedicated to a type of item. So you don't just have an assembly for making literally everything. Yeah. Rather, like, you need to make a plate stamp if you want to make plates, wire extruder for wires. Like, I, I love that kind of stuff. But it has gotten to a point where I'm like, this is very grindy. It, to me, it feels like a cross between an Unreal Engine survival game and Space Engineers. Yeah. I do feel bad for Loris. <laughs> like, I remember the stream where I tried, um, playing industrial overhaul and I could see some of the benefits of it in certain situations but generally speaking it didn't it just didn't click for me yeah it's space engineers meets the bits of Icarus that I find frustrating <laughs> and it, the funny thing is it, it well, actually it's space engineers meets seven days to die's Ravenhurst mod That's the closest thing I've played that I played for a fair bit of time to Industrial Overhaul, I reckon. Yeah, hey, sounds about right. 
Um, but again, I'm talking about my specific tastes in games, not telling people that they should feel bad because they like a thing I don't. Shadow and I wait for components to be manufactured. I'm just waiting for my thing to not have stone in it. I'm trying to build a battery so that we've got at least one battery. And then I think I might build another three wind turbines. Next. And fine, I'll use the well, miner and press control G and place bits. Yeah, I figure it, building another row of three more. Will at least get us a decent way. The mission system so and I wildlife are interesting to SE, and I would be the happiest player. Yeah, I, the mission system and the wildlife and the world Ooh. and the stuff you can build with in Icarus, I really like. The way you have to move stuff between workbenches. Eh. But it's it's just the nature of every single Unreal Engine survival game I've ever played. <laughs> they all do it. Ark does it. Um, oh, Ark. <laughs> I'm pretty sure Conan does it. I think they all do it. It's just, it's something that Unreal must have built in that they all just use. Or they're just using the universal schematic because it's worked for so many games. Mm, true. That are yeah, popular. Too. Maybe they're afraid to reinvent the wheel that's barely functional. Well, yeah, Regathian, you say it's a survival game staple, but it's not in Space Engineers. Like, that style of construction, like, that style of doing stuff isn't in Space Engineers. And I guess, I guess maybe that puts my finger on why it is that IO doesn't sit right for me and it could be because that style of thing isn't in Space Engineers and to bring it in it's like no this is taking away the thing the Space Engineers does well <laughs> the thing that I like you're just afraid of change you say jokingly oof I was about to get up on my high horse <laughs> <laughs> yeah no I, I felt that anger I, I felt <laughs> I, I make a... So, one of the things I, I like to try really, really hard... Well, I try to do a lot of is... When something changes, like when Windows changes or when Office would change... Um, I would um, immediately just go, Okay, this is the new interface. Deal with it. I never spent any time trying to roll back to an old interface. I never spent any time doing those things. So I'm like, no. No. As soon as I do that, I may as well get out my rocking chair, get out my cane, and tell people to get off my lawn. No, I did want to say, like, I, I think I'm the more stubborn one between us when it comes to that, but now... Um, I guess I should get a walking cane and start yelling at people <laughs> then. Because <laughs> I... But I'm like, at some point, especially with big things like that, like with windows and stuff like that, you're not going to be able to make them change it back. It's going to be this way. So just get used to it, and then it, you can see why the UX designers thought that this was going to be better. And at least with big companies like that, you do actually have UX designers. Like, people who are legitimately trying to make this better. And maybe they did, maybe they didn't. But you're not going to know until you actually try and use it for long enough to get used to the new way. Yeah, that's fair. Like... To me, I'm okay with a overhaul of things, as long as it remains similar to the original design. Like, if Space Engineers were, like, was to completely overhaul how everything looked in the UI and have stuff in different places, I'm like, oh, give me back old, I, I need it back. <laughs> Just because of how used I am to seeing it like this. So, you would be definitely too young to remember when so the the example that always comes to mind for me for this is when microsoft changed office from its old design to the ribbon design or its interface and i just remember 
my dad getting so frustrated with it. And I'd already gotten used to it by this point. And I was like, this is genuinely better than the old system. Just let yourself get used to it, and it is so much better. Was that 2003? I thought it was later than that. But maybe it was while I was in my first degree. And then it was the same, like, when I switched from... Because I went... I went from Windows 98 to Windows 2000. And I ran that until... Uh, XP came out. Oh. And... Then I did... Um, then I went Windows 7, Windows 8, Windows 10, Windows 11. I only went to Windows 11 when I did because I went to a um, Intel CPU with big little cores. So Windows 11 has a significant advantage. With In big the, little cores? Yeah. So the, the productivity and the efficiency cores uh, shortened ah. to big little. Big written, written in lowercase and little written in big case. Of course. Yeah. Um, because the task scheduler in Windows 11 is much better than the one in Windows 10. For it. Yeah, I just, I just figure, meh. Just switch over. <laughs> like, change, change is inevitable. So, fighting it, what's the point? Oh, this is going to take so long. Right. I'm abandoning that idea, and I'm building some speed. Give me speed. Uh, well, all the fast. All the now. No. Nope. You need the more faster? Yeah. Need more? More fast. Right now. You mean yesterday? The funny I, thing I about knew. Windows 2000 uh, was it was not built for <laughs> gaming or really client PCs. It was really built more for other stuff. And so I did have to do some wrangling to make it work where I wanted it to. Uh, which is why I was happy when Windows XP came out. Because it required a lot less wrangling. <laughs> but it was built on <laughs> Windows 2000. I feel very excluded from this conversation right now. <laughs> I, I know why you weren't born yet. Yes, yes. Well, gee, I'm sorry. <laughs> I should have been born earlier. That's completely I mean, my fault. I mean... You're... Based on your knowledge base and your references and things like that, it's amazing you weren't born earlier. And I mean that as a compliment, not as an insult. Yeah, I was about to say, like, thanks? I <laughs> 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 uh. <Right>, so... <clears throat> Your ball of water. Oh, that reminds me, I should hydrate. So, my last little bit of nostalgia before I move on to another topic. Um, Shadow, does it feel like a pipe dream for Windows to be able to. for a Windows PC to be able to stay on for more than a month without crashing? It, uh. Or does that feel like a thing that could just be easily achieved? Like idly running? Yeah, just you play games on it each night, you just leave the computer on all the time. Personally, I would never do that. I, I don't have the faith. But do you think Windows could do that? I don't think so. <laughs> well, back in the Windows 98 days, you knew so. It definitely couldn't. No matter yeah, how much like... you dreamed it could, it just, no. If you're playing games and actually using the thing, no way was it ever going to stay up that long. 
Yeah, no, like one of the biggest reasons why I say it can't is because I know it technically can, but it will force itself to restart sooner or later because of a Windows update. Ah, yeah, fair. Well, so when I moved to Windows 2000, my computer, this was before, this was before I could reasonably buy a router. My computer was the router. It was sharing the internet access to all the other computers in the house. So I left my computer on 24-7. The... And under Windows 98, I pretty much had to res... It pretty much needed a restart several times a week. Under Windows 2000, it ran for 45 days straight without a crash. Without a restart. Without any problems. And that, oh. was, that was just like the... <gasps> I can't believe it. This was... This could do this. This is so amazing. Sort of moment from back then. Yeah, I daren't dream of leaving my PC slash laptop running for so long. And that is not because of performance or anything. No, it's because of energy costs. Mm. Yeah, I don't leave PCs on like that anymore. Yeah, no. Not very doable. Or, well, affordable. Am I empty yet? No. Alright, I have two speed modules on the assembler, as well as two power efficiency. So hopefully now we can get the refinery built. Whoa. The bubble has been extruded. And also, that allows me to do this. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> Why you do that? I don't want to shoot the bubble. It'll pop. <laughs> Annie, what's it? Where are you going? Oh, unknown signal. Unknown signal. I see. Oh, it's okay. being... So I guess it's my... being adorable. Oh my goodness. I guess my goal after this refinery sh should be trying to set up a piston-based drill rig. Yeah, sure. Oh. <laughs> oh boy, is it so cute? Oh, because you can't see the parachute. <laughs> it's on a parachute, but you can't see it. Yeah, so he's just wobbling down. Yep. Adorable thing. Oh. Ah, Tex, you know how chat goes. Always uh, seven or eight steps further than the person on stream can even manage to keep up with. Like you can keep up with. Especially on the geeky topics. Yeah. I, I can kind of keep up with most of what's being said, but every now and then, then they start talking about Linux, and I'm like, yeah, the extent of my use of Linux is, oh my gosh, I have to use this to reset the password on my server. No! Oh, policeman drill. Very nice. I think that's my first policeman uh, piece thing. Ah. Fancy. Oh, we should probably build a spawn point here, shouldn't we? Can we? Can yeah, we? I suppose we do have the silver. Yeah, we brought tons of silver with us. Yeah. Literally. Yeah, just the night. <laughs> See, <laughs> text. The Unix system we had at the television station back in the day that ran the digital commercial machine never got turned off. Yeah. Uh. Mm I've probably done more in Unix than I have in Linux. And that's because I think they still do, even now. The pathology systems used by nearly all pathology services, potentially even Australia-wide, but definitely within New South Wales, they're all based off Unix. So um, if you want to be able to get access to the results before they've been checked over by the people in the lab because then it gets converted to the more modern system 
uh, you can get a Unix login so that you can log into their system and then use all the commands to find all the different results. And in various roles that I had, I was able to get a, go in there and um, that's how we check blood results. Well, Linux, you know. is, uh, Linux is Unix the way that Windows 98 is DOS. Dependent on the which one you're using. That doesn't seem like an unfair comparison, does it? Did you just try to grind me? No, I was grinding out the ramp that I put there that I wanted to get rid of. Oh. Yeah, because I just walked past you and I suddenly hear the grinder. <laughs> that, that's... Yeah. Weird. I can understand why that might make you nervous. What you doing? Is the surfer okay? Yeah, you're changing tools on my end. Not on my end. Can you do stuff with the tool? Am I hurting you? No. Oh, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> it was just a little bit um socially awkward, I guess. Uh, what are we out of? We're out of iron. Yeah, we're already out of iron. And the refinery has gone quiet, so we need more stone. More stone? I guess I can help you. I'll do a quick mining trip and then you do one. Yeah, sure. I say that Unix and Linux are related in the way that DOS and... Windows 98 are in that one was built on top of the other. Just remember to align to the southeast. This wasn't that, wasn't, um, Linux built off the Unix stuff? Or at least early versions or something? Oh, was it not? I thought that... I, that was some vague memory I had from high school. Oh, they were written for this, some specification. Ah, okay. But not using any of the code. Okay, I take back what I said. I was wrong. Today I learned. You might want to press L. Oh, my spotlight's off. There you go. Okay, do you want to go grab your miner? Because I'm full. Yeah, sure. Oh, uh, no, I never did. Oh, I feel like I watched a fragment of Hackers in high school during a lesson when a teacher didn't want to actually give a lesson. Lesson. I need to do a very tricky maneuver. Am I making it more tricky by landing? No. Oh. The fact that you dare land right now. <laughs> I don't see the problem with this. Yeah, you probably will in a second, depending on how <laughs> well sure my I, flying goes. I'm sure I will. Oh, 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 the game did not like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, merge blocks do weird things. <laughs> but yeah, my, I think my experience, what the? I felt like it just suddenly went dark. Maybe it was because I was in your no. spotlights. <laughs> no, um, clear skies. Oh! That's what happened. Fog. Yeah, fog. Yeah, I was... <laughs> I was worried about the same, and then I looked at chat and I was like, Oh, that makes sense. 
Yeah, it would be time for a cargo container. I agree. A large one, please? Yeah. Maybe? Although, honestly, at this point, building a small one might be a better place to start. Because mm. we can get it done quickly. Hydrate is missing. What? Yeah, I'm, I'm glad okay. I learned that about Linux. I always thought that they were related that way. I must have misunderstood something uh, someone or someone else told me the wrong thing back when I was in high school. Because I had a few friends who were using Linux stuff back then and it was from them that I learned most of my knowledge of how to do stuff with PC hardware. So I just kind of try took what they told me as gospel at the time. Oh, uh, yeah, Kanita, I need to turn off hydrate for today. I have been hydrating a significant amount the last weekend. Including today. But that's a lesson for me. Don't just trust what you're told. Lift up piece yourself. Find good sources. I keep looking at the miner and I'm like, I can rebuild that more. <laughs> the one that I'm flying or the one that you're flying? Because you could probably save for both. But less so for yeah. this one, I think. Well, this one is going to be very hard to greeble. And I did upload it to the workshop already, so it feels weird to greeble it any more than it already is. Nah, you just update the version on the workshop. Yeah, I suppose that's fair. Oh, the beep, birds beep. are loud. Yep, yep, yep. I'm just offloading. Hang on. I think I'm offloaded. I'm offloaded. Thanks, Stein Mai. Ooh. Thank you for 28 months. And thank you, Genius, genius Level IQ, for the Prime Sub. And Beldenic, I can't remember if I got distracted and then remembered, and then, or if I got distracted and then remembered but didn't say anything. But thank you for the gift sub, in case I forgot, because I don't remember. Do you know what you think that? <laughs> what makes me think what? That I got distracted? No, the amount of times you said the same thing. Oh, yeah. Shadow? What? How is that an important thing for us to build right now? Morel. Be fine. I need those steel tubes. Wait, where'd they go? There you go, now you can build it. <laughs> what? No, I don't want to anymore. Fair enough. I didn't kill Capac. Shadow did. <laughs> I didn't get a chance to. She grounded down before I could. <laughs> That's all I can say to that. Power is a problem. Uh, yeah, we should probably focus on power. Oh, right. I had an idea. Like, there was a reason I built the bridge already. You were going to build the wind turbines on the far side? No, I was going to make a very simple and flat solar array on it. Although it's not that useful right now. No. 
Um, I guess we build the mm. next row of wind turbines. Yeah, I suppose. I'll cancel all the stuff. Uh, I'll get in a bubble. Okay, I've ordered up the parts for three more wind turbines. The refineries do not like running while the assembler is running. Uh, you might want to turn my miner batteries off of recharge then. Um, We're getting low. No, because so. I think we need the miner, so I think that's fine. I'm, I'm inclined to just leave it be. I think it'll be alright. Because once we get these turbines up, it'll be fine. Hey, Nev. Sounds good. I mean, what we should probably be trying to do is we could have hooked the truck up. That would have been smart. Because the truck has we reactors. We don't do that here. <laughs> and uranium. <laughs> uranium. I do still think we need more uranium's. But that's just my... Uh, Probably my Factorio brain. I mean, we Never could have uh, enough uranium. Th that's there's some truth to that. That we can never have enough. But it's all a question of how much do we need right now, and what can what what are we going to get the most from building first? Yes. So that hopefully we don't have to make those decisions in the future. One, two, three. I mean, something we. Wait, hang on. Let me quickly check something before I say what I'm about to say. I suppose we can build, like, a large reactor, small grid, on that base. Yeah, we could. That's 14, not 75 megawatts. It is. But is this where we want to use our uranium? Temporarily. Or do we want to just build some more wind turbines? Let's build some more wind turbines, and in the meantime, I can maybe work on. Like, the <laughs> That's drill the thing, rate? though. We can't do both at the same time. We have to choose. <laughs> we don't have the resources to do both. I, I mean, like laying it out. Right. It's only a few steel plates and there, oh, so we're actually, gonna have that issue again. I need my little flyer, buddy. Mm. Oh, you need uppies? I need uppies. Oh, oh, no. Bubble is a little bit drunk, apparently. I have enough for two wind turbines. I don't have any space to go more than that, but... Replace the <laughs> first two. <laughs> what was that sound? What was what sound? Uh, just, it sounded like a woman very heartily laughing. Oh, that may well have been my partner laughing on the phone out on the back deck rather loudly. Ah. Um. It happened again. <laughs> I'm just gonna stand here so you can't. Is that the right height, or did I go too high? That's the right height. Okay. A little... there we go. More power. Oh. At first I was very worried, like, is that a bird as well? Like, <laughs> that's the first time I heard that, but I wouldn't put it beyond the Aussie birds. Um, it used to be... Knowing... it used to be a more common noise that might have come through. I'm surprised it hasn't before, because... Our back neighbor that used to live there, she had a really loud laugh. Okay, I need downies and then I can come uppies for one more. So I've run out of materials. <laughs> Don't have enough for the last turbine. I 
like the girders, the computers, the motors, and some interior plate. Cool. Here you go. You can get it from the refinery. Hopefully. Huh. I'm so tempted to just fly away right now. <laughs> I swear I ordered these pop. Why? Why? Why no make? Arr. Kookaburras are the best. Big chunky birds that can take on snakes that have a noise that confuses a lot of people. <laughs> I really like kookaburras. And apparently, according to some YouTube channels, a very interesting smell. I did not know that. Yeah, it, it didn't exactly cross my mind as well to sniff a bird. Oh. Uh, nailed it. So, um, Shadow, we might yeah. want to remove this particular pylon because it's one row out from all the others. I knew that, that's why I blew it up. Uh-huh. It was totally intentional. Uh, would you be able to let me go up and get the little bit of power cable? As well, uh, yeah. I need to take the end off. No, you don't eat a kookaburra. That's not, no, no, you don't it, do that. It does sound like a meal. Like if you divide it in two parts. Football three uh, uh, we can play some more. Cook a bar. Yeah. It's like I don't an Australian know what burrito. Bar is, but your coworker has a pet pig that smells like maple syrup. I am curious. How did you find out? <laughs> it's it's inbuilt maple bacon. How rude. Okay, we should now be good for power. We're not gonna be able to rel it. We're not like we may have some troubles charging the ships off the base, but it should be enough for the refineries and stuff. efficiency oh. modules hmm. okay I got a little bit of iron and we got no more stone being refined both probably need to go and do some mining again on it as will I be because I was Where kind of able to do two quick loads while you did yours Isn't a burro a donkey? Rather than a very large burrito? Uh, I think of something else. <laughs> I have no idea. Uh, I mean, it sounds crazy enough to be correct, no, I, I'm, but... I am right. I'm right. <laughs> Apparently. What? Yeah. I don't believe you. Yes, a burrito is named after a little donkey. Huh. Is that because it carries all of the things? I wonder what the etymology of that is. Yes. Oh, Tufty just said because it carries all the food. <laughs> carries all the flavor. Don't have any plans for a burrito for a meal this week, but at least I've got plans for tacos. We don't do those types of meals in my household, unfortunately. I've been trying to get more wraps hooked up, but it's not very appreciated. <laughs> um, I'm the only one who enjoys them. Uh, my partner and I probably have tacos... 
It probably averages once a week. Oh, we're well, gonna need bad. to throw out all this gravel. There's a lot of gravel. Yeah, like something we've been trying recently with success, arguably, is a pasta oven dish. Oh, like Which, a pasta bake. Yeah. Like plenty of cheese, some meats. It's very good. And also a carbonara sauce. Although I'm not sure if that's the same in English, but. Well, it's an Italian word, so yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that doesn't usually <laughs> matter. <laughs> well, okay. True, it may not work for the English, but. In Australia, we're... I've, the English. Well, no, specifically, because, like, the English often will use the French word for things. Uh, in Australia, it's far more common for us to use the Italian words for the equivalent. Like, yeah, we use fair. zucchini, not courgette. Yeah, like, usually I'm not that big of a pasta fan, like, especially spaghetti. I just don't like how difficult it is to eat. I just don't like it. Uh, are you using the wrong implements? But are you using a spoon? No. A spoon makes I... it easier. I mean, you still need the fork, but use a fork and a spoon. I'm too lazy. Tex, I'm not even going to approach how to pronounce the thing that is toppings on a piece of bread. Because I have oh, no Shutter. idea what the correct pronunciation of that is. Is the C-H a hard or a soft sound? I don't know. I'm pretty sure it's called bruschetta, but... Is it... But then, then you hear people say bruschetta. Bless you. Thank you. And I don't know which one's right, because I've heard both, and I've heard both from supposedly Italian chefs. <laughs> so I'm like, I don't know. It, maybe it's regional. I don't know. Well, part of me is hoping Lenchard is here because he has some knowledge on that. Or rather, heritage. But. I don't think he is. I suppose if you put enough different pronuncia pronunciations of stuff out there. You can always complain at people for getting it wrong. But it does make me like the, um, there's a sign, there's a sandwich shop, an Italian sandwich shop near where I live. And the signage on the front, I'd never heard of this style of bread before, but it's like sciata or something. But they've literally just written, phonetically, four different ways to say it. And they say, whichever you like, <laughs> it's all delicious. <laughs> it's like, yes. No, it's not a ciabatta. Sk schiacciata or something like that. But they're like, schiaccia, schiacciata, schiaccia. They're like, doesn't matter. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, I like your attitude. So... You do have the twist in the language that makes it sound proper. But every time you talk like that, I just get reminded of, like, of when I was in Prague with their language, like the Czech language. Because they also give that same twist that you're doing to their words. Like, it, it doesn't help me understand it more. It, it just <laughs> sounds fun. I mean... I think a lot of my pronunciation of this sort of stuff has been heavily influenced by me attempting to learn some of these languages from programs like Rosetta Stone over the years. Because <laughs> <laughs> whether that's right or wrong, that's what's happened. Because each time I've traveled, I've tried to learn at least a little bit of the language of the place that I'm going to. Even though I'm terrible at it, I still make the attempt. Then, for your sanity, I hope you're not going to visit the Netherlands. It is, um, interesting language, even for a native. I know, I know your dislike for your own language. Yep. <laughs> you do the hand gestures and you're 50% right. 
<laughs> Accurate. Oh, actually, that does remind me. Like, you are a little bit familiar with Dutch pronunciation of our cultural foods, right? Like Struppafel and stuff. Yeah, but in my head, I'm just pronouncing it like I'm thinking of German. And I am curious about this one. <laughs> Hagelslag? You absolutely virtued it. Good job. <laughs> Thank you. Ah, oh, right, the, the, the no G H thing. Right. How do you know which G's are hard G's and which G's are not G's? That's the thing. There, it's, um... <laughs> Is it as consistent as English? Is that what you're telling me? Well... <laughs> it sounds like that's what you're telling me. Yeah, no, it's it's by feeling, which might also be why I'm okay at English, <laughs> because <laughs> I just I was taught to just feel the language rather than understand it. Uh huh. Helpful. <laughs> I mean, Nev, that that was literally the point I made straight after. <laughs> I agree. English, there's no reason. Like, how do you know that yacht is yacht, not yatched? I mean, other than yatched just not being a sound that would ever exist in English. <laughs> it's, you it don't. It sounds like you're getting scared. <laughs> <coughs> it's just a T that doesn't fit there. <sighs> oh no. <laughs> One word I was absolutely stunned by the other day on one of the streams I did was oscillator. Like, that C is in there, so I kept pronouncing it oscillator. Oh, like an escalator? Yeah, basically. <laughs> <laughs> I presume that's about the response you got as well. Uh, <coughs> I, uh, I, I felt judged. <laughs> <laughs> And it also didn't help that I didn't know what an oscillator was, so I never interacted with it, so... I only saw it in games, which doesn't give you a pronunciation. No. It's alright. You can be a native Austra a native English speaker like Capac and just get everything confused anyway. <laughs> but I cannot do it with such confidence. No. <laughs> yes. The confidence to be wrong. <laughs> I mean, if you're confident enough, you will be right. No. No, don't start that. Please, no. No. <laughs> That's a terrible thing to think or say. I think I already did start it. <laughs> Try our word for squirrel on for size. I don't know. <sighs> Stupid umlaut. I don't know what it does to a word. I think it's an oo. Almost, I think. It, yeah, it's I like... It, it's because in English we don't have... I don't think we have that specific sound. Oo is kind of the closest that a lot of English speakers can get, if I'm remembering correctly. So, the German word for squirrel. Let's see how bad I can butcher this one. Wait, how do you... Oh, what? No, I'm not even going to try. That's just going to be a mess. No, no. You did make an argument the other day where it's very fun to try. Okay. Oh, wait, was it? Fine, you got me with my own. Eich. Unchen. How bad? Gesundheit. <laughs> Bless you. <laughs> <laughs> I, I kind of want to try and pronounce it as well. Eichhörnchen? You heard it here worst. Yes. <laughs> Shadow was pretty good. So she should be. No, I shouldn't. Oh, no, I... you should. I... There are enough similarities in your two languages. You should get closer. I'm not drunk enough. I know, or but neither is the squirrel. All. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I do not want to see a drunk squirrel. <laughs> Just play Rimworld. You'll find one. No, that's when the guinea pigs get into the boost stash. 
Let me hide on the brochure. Oh yeah, the Dutch word for uh, squirrel is also quite fun. Like uh, what be Slexi said. Nev, you'd you probably figure out what I said, but only from context, because I'm pointing at a fuzzy little rodent. <laughs> Not because I actually <laughs> said anything like this before. <laughs> I mean, at that point, we might as well call an ambulance, because you might be having a stroke as well. <laughs> It is fun to butcher other languages, which is probably also why it's a great joy in talking English. Oh, uh, we're, we're back to no stone. It's all been processed. Yep. I was mostly waiting on uh, recharging to happen. Oh, is it happening at all, or should we build more wind turbines? It had one plus. Oh, you could also yeah. land on the truck to recharge. Yeah, that's true. Oh! Uh, uh, Shelvis? Shelvis? Thank you so much for the three month <laughs> resub. Oh. Oh, yeah. So I've always pronounced it Chalfes, but I have no idea <laughs> how close or not I am. Because I. But that, that's the problem with a J. Every language seems to do it differently. Yeah, which is also why I'm very uncertain about pronunciation. Like, is it German? Can I do it in Dutch? Am I supposed to do it in English? Hmm. First one, then t'other. Well, Nev, one, I, I do need a little bit more context. Like, is that after going to like a pub or before going to a pub? <laughs> uh. Thank you, Avugus. Thank you for the gift sub. Wait, Avex saying what? Posh Englishman saying what is funny? Hang on, I've missed something. How's your Welsh? Oh, right, yeah. Oh. I mean, I know, I know Avax Welsh, but he, he still has a bit of a poshness to him, at least from an Australian perspective. I know that plenty of English posh people would be like, no, he's not. <laughs> oh. So, about hooking up the rover. What, <laughs> what I'm suggesting is you just fly the miner over there and recharge that way. <laughs> yeah, but offloading also takes forever. Oh, right. I'm... I am working towards a conveyor connection to where I'm going to put down a cargo container. That's what I'm doing right now. I could just okay. put down a temporary one, I suppose. That would probably work, and then you can mine a few times and then not have to do it for a while. That would probably be a good idea. Let's do that. Large cargo container. Logan, I don't believe that is an actual word. Which one? The the route the place name in um Wales. Oh the Ochkats twelve? <laughs> I have no idea how to pronounce that last one. Uh, although I, I do like the combination of those last four letters. The oh, wolf. squirrel tail. In Austrian. Huh. Oh dear. 
<laughs> I think. Oh, oh boy. Sorry, Flare. <laughs> Sorry for butchering your word. Oh, well, that word in your language. I guess I'm At waiting for some stuff to be made. Uh, how much iron does that need? Almost 2,000. How much have we got? Not that much. Oh no, we do. 7,200. 10,000. Cool. Okay, we have enough for the cargo container, so it should get built eventually. Time for a rotating gravel flinger. Um. No, I can't justify building that until I build the drill rig. So, the thing that scares me most about that word flare is that I might be able to pronounce it in my head. But I know the moment I start to attempt pronunciation that is not inside my head, it'll just... it, it won't work. I feel like, I feel like I just don't know where to break those words up. It's, it's like a lot of Australian place names. Um, you kind of need to hear them first to know how to pronounce them. Yeah, like, I, I can see Gazelle's shaft in there. Which, I think it's something along the lines of companionship. Or friends, or just a get-together. Um... Company. Oh, okay. Yeah, my brain and tongue will have a disagreement, exactly. Thanks, Kaiba. Thank you for the prime sub. Even Shadow saying pronunciation makes me giggle a little inside. Yeah. Why well, you want me to say pronunciation? No, no, pronounce. Oh. <laughs> but I know that you would have just learned it from things, so I'm like, eh, it's fine. Doesn't it, the the meaning is conveyed? Um, so why do I care? I mean, if we want to get that started, there is always solder. Yeah, you said it correctly. <laughs> also, the cargo container, this cargo container is finished. Ah, <laughs> uh, the Americans in chat. <clears throat> <laughs> uh, it's not solder. Solder. Oh, oh, that reminds me. I I probably do need to polish up some of my uh, pronunciations. <laughs> you got an English test or something? Oh no, I'm done with those actually. Okay. I completed all the exams I had to do. And actually, people Sell are probably death. not gonna believe. <laughs> <laughs> yes, LC. Yes, it's pronounced Sade. Chowder. Sade. Chowder. 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 To the chowder now. Chowder. Chowder. Yep. Man. What, what was I talking about? I completely forgot. I don't know. Simpsons quotes got me preoccupied by something else. <laughs> <laughs> Simpsons quote from back when The Simpsons was good. <sighs> Ooh. Yeah, I don't know why my Mayor Quimby's son, Mayor, Qu Mayor Quimby's son, sounded like Arnie there. I I couldn't shake it, so I just went with it. <laughs> Wait, can I actually take off holding the truck? Yes. Interesting. Sort of. I think would be the more accurate way to say that. So I don't think you can carry the whole thing. I am very tempted to try. Huh. 
I'm sure you are. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Get to the chowder. <laughs> Get to the chowder now. <laughs> I never got to say get to the chomper. Get to the chomper now. Yeah, I was. Okay, I'll stop. I was supposed to say that for so long, and I never got a chance to. And so I've unlikely. Yeah, no. I, as much as I want to try, I don't trust the sub. Like there is that voice in my head that tells me to do it, and it's not just a voice in my head. It, it's a voice on stream, but. Well, should I remember I... what happened the first time we tried to take off with the truck? Exactly, and I care too much about my bubble. That's what's going to happen if you try and take off. <laughs> I don't I mean, know what you I'm somehow did manage the landing. No, I didn't. I landed on the back end, and then we rolled over. Yeah. I'm not and what sure could that counts as a good landing. <laughs> oh, I just did that wrong. Dang it. Save and do it. TV it, it <laughs> from the Sorry, Shadow. People are telling me to save. <laughs> I. No. It's not worth the effort of restarting the server. <laughs> Accurate. That's the main thing that Any. playing on a server does for you, is make it so hard that reloading's just like, I can't be bothered. I'm not gonna do that. Think of the content. You know, I think I quickly have to go to the bathroom for a moment. <laughs> quickly walk away from these uh, temptations and these nudges. I like, you see. do it. Hey, Robob. How's it going? Welcome, Raiders. I'll be right back. Especially okay. because I have to wait on charging anyone. Okie dokie. Don't break everything. I'm trying not to. No promises. Alright, so my plan here was to lay out the row for the next refineries. And then lay out the row for some cargo containers. And then from that cargo container I can build a temporary line out here to build the drill. To drill all this so that we don't need to use the mining ships anymore. Hoping that won't take me too long. Because <laughs> I'm not going to build a refinery along the way. I'm not going to build all these catwalks. I'm just going to build the important parts and then we can come back and never ever actually weld up the rest of it. Because that seems to be what happens. Uh, should have enough iron to make all those. Good. Uh, it just wouldn't feel the same if I deliberately placed the chop the chomper into some sort of circumstance to allow me to use it. So like, I wasn't even thinking about cargo access when I walked downstairs. I was just looking at stuff. And because there's so this production is so slow in this mode, you just uh so much waiting. I may as well be walking around staring at things and trying to think of um how to build. Um, so, I'm not going to build another assembler yet, because this assembler is still running with two power efficiency modules. So, my plan would be to try and get this conveyor system done, and the cargo container moved, then start laying out the piston rig, and from that we should be able to hopefully like Shadow can then not need to mine anymore. If I can do that. Because I think getting that bit done first is probably more timely than trying to do it, trying to do the other part first. Because that's what I thought and I don't actually have a good reason.
No, no, not a mining drone. That's not what I got the Shadows buy-in. I got Shadows buy-in on a cargo transport drone from this base to the other base. Because once I'm once I'm building a drill rig here, um, Shadow can probably even start thinking about getting that system, well, at least laying out where the where the land is going to be. And to be honest, on top of this bridge probably makes a really good location for a cargo drone to deliver to because it's at nearly the same height as these wind turbines, so colliding with them is not really going to be an issue. See you, Ronan. At least that would be my expectation. My thoughts on it. Does still mean that the drone could run into the giant sign on the bridge, though. But yeah, I wasn't. I wasn't all. That was the other reason, I guess, I shouldn't plan to do too much in terms of an assembler here, is that we're not too far from the point where we can say this base is able to do what it needs to do. Let's go back and actually build our proper base. <laughs> Small drill rig from the Skywop. That is one option I am considering for this drill rig, just to keep it real simple. Um, is just more drills rather than having something that can move up and down or side to side because I want to try and build this I want to try and dig this so that it's quite level which means having a rotating drill head doesn't really serve our purposes because a rotating drill head is going to um, create a circle which is hard to drive on But I'm not sure if that's going to be too many drill heads and it's going to be a performance problem. I'll have to think about it. Plus, obviously, lots of drill heads, very expensive. If making them out of small grid, less expensive, but still tricky to build that, that scale. But I actually kind of like the idea of doing it like a, um... Uh, was it Citroen had this style of windscreen wiper in one of their cars? I think it might have been a Citroen. It sounds like an odd citroen -y thing to do. But the kind of wiper that stays perfectly vertical as it moves across your windscreen. And doing a drill rig like that. Hey Zada, thank you so much for one whole year. Thank you very much. Uh, I'm doing alright. I know my voice sounds off, but I'm feeling so much better than I was on Friday. And so much better than I was on Saturday. Ugh. So the, the, the daycare illness, I think, might be getting better. I wish Bone Sweeper. Yeah. I do know Citroen is French. Yes. <clears throat> my dad particularly likes Citroens. So, growing up, we have had several. <coughs> Not Citron. Citron. I don't know how this is supposed to be pronounced. <laughs> I'm Australian. I don't know these things. Mm -hmm. And yeah, huh? kind of like the bus. Kind of like ones on buses. So, a drill rig, huh? Yeah. That's what I'm trying to work on now. Because I've got... you got the large cargo container on the base now. In the right place. Oh! 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 Bad! Bad! Shadow forgot to press this... off recharge or dampeners? Which one? Yeah, no, it kicked me out. Because I did not realize I had this one. Oh! Oh, you're on your side. Yeah, usually I have a backup battery, but I forgot Wait. I put the one from the bottom to recharge You're not on your side, according well. to my point. You're upside down. <laughs> Upside down. Yeah, I am upside down. Uh oh. I am. Um... No, yeah, my dad did not buy a, a 2CV. And I'm familiar enough with those thanks to Top Gear.
as they were nope. the preferred car to have a jet engine blow to smithereens. Uh, you're going to need to piston hinge nonsense yourself over, I think, to do this safely. I'm going to leave you to that. Because I'm going to piston hinge well. drill rig nonsense while you're doing that. Rude. What? How? I would have helped you. No, you would have laughed at me. Exactly, I would have helped you. <laughs> That's not helping. There it is. I'm motivating you to finish it faster. To be better and not let you laugh at me again? Exactly. See, you get it. <sighs> Alright, where do we want ground level to be for this thing? Probably about... Yeah. Let's use the method I've been using in AA, because I think it kind of works here. No. Uh, I don't think all of my gyros are facing the right way, and I'm not going to take the chance. Wise. Oh. Let's try this again. Come on, you can do it. Wait a second. Jeno, are you pushing? Don't worry about it. Why are the pistons? And, uh, oh, you're pushing it under you, this... and then you're gonna. Oh. <laughs> well, that's in the ground. Yeah, no, that did. Okay, hang on. <laughs> <laughs> this worked on the scrapyard server. Like, this is a tactic I've been using a lot, but I guess I just never really had a ship that was this heavy. <laughs> that was yeah. not my ship blowing up. One of the one of the funny things about the scrapyard server is that it um you use a lot less power and you use a lot less like you generally have vehicles that are a lot lighter. Yeah. You have a lot less stuff. Yeah, a piston is now in the center of the planet. That's true. Yeah, we might want to fix that someday. Yeah, probably when the next one goes there and starts making a hole in the middle of it because they collide with each other and destroy some voxel. Ew. Or will the piston float on the water surface? Actually, it will, I think, at least. <laughs> So, my plan here is build a drill on the end of this hinge, sweep it back and forth, build a piston on this, sweep it back and forth until I've got a nice flat surface, and then I can build out the drill rig that's going to push into the mountain. <laughs> Why would a solid metal piston float? Uh, probably because inside that piston is a pocket of air. Oh. I don't know. <laughs> oh. 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 <laughs> nope. <laughs> what are you doing to my truck? <laughs> I, I am leaning on it. It's fine. Could you grind out the... the no, you actually can't. The giant can't. pogo um, stick? Yes, I can. Can you? <laughs> yeah. I'm going to start from the high side. That will make life easier. Nope, I can't. Wait, unless I jump on top. Maybe I can do that. No! 
Why would a solid metal piston float? That is a very good question. Do they float? Should I, I check? Uh, no. Oh, 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 oh. Parkour! Oh, oh. Ah! What the? <laughs> Hi! So I grind off the pistons, right? All of them? Yep. Yep. Oh, this is gonna You're gonna hurt me. fall this to the ground. Hurt so much. Hi. Ow. Well, I was half expecting to get flung up in the air when it disconnected. Is that so? Thank you. Uh, you're welcome, I think. Hey, helping isn't too bad. Whoa, 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 whoa! I think I just got a temporary concussion there. I did a spin out of my cockpit and saw through the terrain. Oh, good job. Thank you. So, we're out of stone again. <clears throat> I... <laughs> I just... Shut up, right, you booper. <laughs> so why isn't the drill rig finished yet, huh? Because we're out of stone. Why aren't you mining stone? It, and I need it for the drill rig. <laughs> oh, yeah, I didn't think about the hydraulic oil within the piston potentially being super buoyant. Oil made out of iron? Maybe it's like bubbly oil. I mean bubbly iron. Dokey. Yeah, hypergolic iron, exactly. Step one for the drill rig. Build drill. Oh, it's a good first step. Yeah. Oh, I think so. In fact, I should also build some other blocks. I can do the next stage a bit more quickly. See, I always imagined the rubber was some sort of flexible iron, like, lattice. Because none of the components in wheels are made of silicon. Yeah, like the lunar oh, rooms. Try to think logically. Not good for your sanity. Oh, I think we are completely out of iron, actually. Yes, yeah, are. yeah. Calm down. I'm no, working I'm, on it. I'm not. I'm not. I'm gonna go. I'm not. I'm gonna go. Sure. I'm gonna go and mine as well. We've got a cargo container so we can offload and keep doing more loads and 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 all of the loads. You mean a lot more loads? Yeah, a heap of them. Heaps and heaps of loads. Of heaps. Uh-huh. I should probably name the cargo containers something useful so it's easy to offload. <laughs> You're kidding, right? <laughs> <laughs> I literally just added um, a thing to it. What did you add to it? R R R. Okay. And also the prefix Yar, space. You too. 
I really wanted to respond with Yeehaw. Oh. But, Cowboys and pirates, eh? Yeah. Oops. I saw that. <laughs> uh, guess I've got to fix that. Might make that lower. <laughs> when I rebuild it. Oopsie. Even the bird is laughing at you, apparently. Um, no, that's a plover being very upset by something. I would be too if I saw that. Uh, which I did. Uh, that's not a laughing noise. <clears throat> they make that sound when Charlie gets close to them. Actually, a bird that got very lucky yesterday. Uh, although, I suppose it's not particularly lucky because it's actually a bit of skill on their part. Um, a bush turkey got in our backyard yesterday. Uh huh. While I was out walking Charlie, my partner was watching it in the backyard. And when I got home, it hadn't quite left our backyard yet. Ew. Um, my partner had chased it off so that it would go to our neighbor's yard, but it decided to come back until Charlie realized it was there, and then it really did not decide to come back again. <laughs> She very much chased it. And it flew away. Uh, ah. uh, is it safe for me to dock the miner, by the way? Or is your miner there? Uh, it is safe. Okay, because I'm about to try something. So that is... Okay. So beware, things might go blammo. Sure. Maybe. Oh, right. Huh? Okay, what? Where is the scrap that's on the ground here? There it is. Uh, nope, there's more. There it is. Okay, why is it not working? There we go. Almost afraid to Google bush turkey. Um, if you want to make it safer, you can so search for brush turkey. But this is what they look like. And they're about. I guess when they're when they're kind of standing, they're probably thirty to forty-five centimeters tall. Not too bad. And they do surprisingly well in the suburbs. Um, whereas most of our native wildlife has not done particularly well in the suburbs, they've done surprisingly well. Interesting. Yeah. I think it's because they're quite... They're quite aggressive, but also... Quite... They do seem to run away when they need to. And they can also fly away. But I guess one of the big advantages for them is they're not really... A, a cat-sized target. Because they're bigger than most house cats.
when you say they do surprisingly well are we talking real estate savvy uh sure why not no I'm, I'm meaning like they they're quite you can find them in a lot of areas and a lot of suburbs um multiplying to surprising numbers Looks oh, like a buzzard mated help? with a parrot and a turkey. Uh, I guess it kind of does. Um, right now... My goal is just to make this a flat surface. To then build the drill rig on aligned to that flat surface. The one that pushes into the mountain. So why only have one drill? Uh, because I don't have room to place more until I clear the space for this one. With this one. But... If you move the hinge back, you should have more room, right? As this is as far as I wanted to drill to the side. Ah, fair enough. It's just me being neat. That's all. Neat? I mean, I... Tidy. Hmm. Oh, neat. You know, I, I understood meat and I was like, hmm... It's just me being meat. That has to do. <laughs> yeah, that, that's why I got confused. <laughs> uh, I can understand why that would be confusing. Where'd those other plates go? That fell on the ground. Did you pick them up? Yep. Ah, cool. I do tend to Clyde up after uh, people, up. so yes. Yeah. How does one Clyde? -y? It's tidying and cleaning. Oh, well, well played. It was not an on purpose play of uh, words. No, no, that's but... that's why I said well played <laughs> with coming up with an excuse for it really quickly. <laughs> <laughs> So you can see how I can relatively quickly expand this drill rig out. Just do a yeah. pass, expand, do a pass, expand, do a pass, expand, and it makes it all nice and neat. I can make this drill much, I can make this move much quicker actually. Is it Clyde with a C or Clyde with a clay? Did you mean to say Clay there? I did actually, yeah. Okay. Um, anyone who's watched <laughs> Brooklyn Nine Nine will get where I got that from. Okay. Yeah, no, I I only watched a very tiny amount of it. Because the Clay is not interested silent. enough. Hmm? I'd be worried if it were yelling. It would make clay sculpting a little bit more dominant. Every time you cut off a piece, it's just yelling. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I can understand I why can someone of Shadow's um, background might not be super interested in Brooklyn Nine-Nine. It had some good bits, just never... What's interesting? Andy Sandberg enough. does tend to reference stuff that might be a little out of touch for Shadow. Wow. Well, way to call me young again. Okay, fine. I mean, I am, but... <laughs> I was trying to think of a way to call you old without it being, like, super, super rude, and I'm like, no, nothing's coming to mind. <laughs> I'm gonna just abandon that one where it is. I mean, I don't get offended easily, so give it your best shot, I'd say. Nope, nope, <laughs> nope. nope. I know I'm a youngin. I am aware of and have accepted this I love this Lucy with more shadows thing. Yeah. Man. Oh, and bewitched. That was another thing that was... Um... Oh... I feel like I've heard of it. Yeah. Yeah. Um. TV shows of that era are some 
let's say, interesting viewing through a modern lens. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Which is why they I should don't... be reviewed in... It, like, I think, honestly, you've got to view things like that in their own era, because if you view it through with a modern lens, it's... <laughs> yeah, I dream of Genie as well. But also knowing what they did to the horse with Mr. Ed. To make his mouth move. Do I dare ask? I think no. they gave it mainly no, peanut butter. So it stuck to its mouth and it would try and get it unstuck. So it would move its mouth and then they lip synced to it. Okay, that's a whole lot less gross than I thought it would be. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. yeah it's not particularly cursed at all. Especially given we're talking what? Is that 50s? I don't know. <laughs> no, I was more directing that at chat, I guess. I know, but... Yeah. <laughs> That's nothing you should see what they did to Kermit to make his mouth move. Oh. <laughs> 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 Uh. <laughs> okay, early 60s, yeah. Bewitched covered the transition from black and white to colour for TV, didn't it? Yeah, I thought so. I had some memory, like, so the only reason I know of these TV shows, which are very much not of my era at all, was because they used to be on TV in Australia in the early afternoons. So if I was home early enough from school, or if I was sick home from school, they were on TV, all these shows. As long reruns. As with things like Hogan's Heroes, and all these other shows of, from that era. Mr. Ed was on BBC on Sunday lunchtime in the night in the 80s, yeah. It's just uh, like that sort of level of syndication and passing forward of references and happy days. Mm -hmm. Passing forward of references from older generations to newer ones doesn't happen to the same extent these days, I would say. Because with streaming services, it's just not needed. <clears throat> yeah, I never saw Knight Rider as a rerun. Like, I'm familiar with what it is, but I never actually saw any of it. Like, Shadow, did, was any of this stuff anything you ran into on Dutch TV? Like, old reruns oh. of TV shows from 20, 30 years before? Not necessarily on TV. Like, my parents do end up watching stuff like that, and we do have some CDs and DVDs still. Mm. But nothing really on TV, but then again, I... I didn't really watch a lot of old-time TV, in a way. Yeah, and that's like, what I mean. the only channel I truly I watched was, like, Comedy days. Central. Yeah. But there were certainly channels that do have those older movies and series and yeah. stuff. I figure there's just so much more media availability in general that the desire or the need to watch older stuff like that just isn't there anymore. Mm-hmm. Oh, I think I need another drill on top of the drill. Let's make it. Drill two, incomplete.
Give me the computers. There we go. What Sequest was new in that in like those the nineties? That was nineties, wasn't it? Sequest DSV. So it wasn't really a. Yeah, it was nice. Man. How do we get onto nostalgia topics when I'm playing with Shadow? <laughs> wow, hey. Am I not allowed to have nostalgia as well? No, it's just, it feels like it should be more of a I'm playing with Capac and Tex thing. What do you think? I don't know. I'm apparently not allowed to have nostalgia, so I'm not sure if I'm allowed to think as well. I'm not saying that you're not allowed to have nostalgia. I'm just saying it feels weird to have nostalgia for stuff that you're like, what? And it's totally excluding you from the conversation, which doesn't seem fair. Oh no, it's fine. I'm getting up to shenanigans. <laughs> In fact, um... <laughs> Tex is like, wait, what? Why am I referred to here? <laughs> there we go. I set up the LCD. <laughs> oh, you need the text in between the legs of the couch on the bottom. Because you could shift the welcome to slightly to the right, so then it can sit a bit lower as well. You could probably just do it with padding. Oh. You want me to do it? Oh no, it's fine. I can do it. <laughs> Dex, I only Let threw you in there because I knew you would know, you would get a lot of the references from that era that Capac and I would also be able to make. How's this? Because TFE definitely won't. Not quite. What you doing? I'm not seeing changes. I, I'm doing padding. Oh, Does okay. Does that not work? Uh, oh, that's good. That's pretty good. And then you probably just need to press uh, space two or three times before the welcome. Oh, I see. On that row. Oh. Two more? Uh, yeah, probably. Because of the shoulder. It's hovering closer to the W than... Yeah, I think that's pretty good. There you go. And then you may need to shrink the name of the stone mine, but... What could we call this? Yeah, th there's a reason why name pending is uh, hard rock there. mine. Hard rock mine and cafe. Since we're going nostalgia. The rock and stone mine. Uh, maybe get rid of the the, and just do rock and stone mine. Yeah! Perfect! Rock and stone! If you don't rock and stone, you ain't coming home. <laughs> For those who know the reference. The rock and stone mine where nobody knows your name. Yep. Although, there is one thing that I really need to add to this. Just for that Finishing touch. Oh, I do quite like the alliteration of that, Corbin. The Mankini mine. That's a different type of mine. What are you adding to this? I'm not adding it to the LCD, don't worry. The LCD is perfect. Okay.
No. Oh. What, what happened? Why did I hear no and shadow up high and probably falling off? Because I did fall off on my screen, but then I wasn't. Oh, Triax, you're so right. Want to buy. Confirm dialogue box for defaults on paint colors. Mm -hmm. Yes. So you know when you hit default, like change the default, I want that to have a confirm, a confirmation dialogue box. So that yes. if you accidentally click it, you don't just get all the defaults again. Or maybe even have a way Presets. to make... Yeah. Yeah. Presets would be nice too. Huh. Shadow. Yeah? If you do feel so inclined, there is something you could do to help with the mind. Uh... Obviously, obviously you're busy right now. But if you do feel so inclined, we could potentially try and build another drill rig identical to this, but on the other side, at the same height, uh -huh. and do sweeps with both. I suppose that's a thing we can do, yeah. Um, it may be more work than it's worth, but it's an idea. building some sort of weird rig that's going to make a spotlight to go on this thing. No. Huh. It's something much simpler than that. I mean, the and something you probably don't get the reference for. The collection of hinges um, suggests less simple than simple, but sure. Yeah, we're going to need speed modules on the refineries. We're going to need more refineries. Um, I'm just trying to focus on getting toward this drill rig first, I guess. I saw something amazing the other day. It was a canary resuscitator. If the miners in a coal mine noticed their canary succumbing to carbon monoxide, they would close the door and open the valve to an oxygen cylinder to try and <gasps> save the Wait. canary for no other reason than because they wanted to try. That's lovely, Tex. Hang on, I have an image of that exact uh, thing. Hang on. I do like hearing if I can that, find that it. sort of stuff. Yeah, like, they wanted to make sure the canary survived because the miners felt bad about them. Uh... Well having to suffer a bad fate to save the miners' uh... lives I can understand why the miners would get attached to a canary that is there literally to keep them alive plus you never know how expensive canaries are I wonder if it was cheaper than the oxygen cylinder. Hey, Naron, welcome in. Let me pull that up on my stream as well. I sent you an image. Oh. I'm fairly certain that's the one Tex was referring to. Ah, this looks like it would be. It's a little spacesuit. Yeah. <laughs> Does that mean I now have to feel guilty for not having a capac revive like resuscitation thing? Those canaries weren't being cloned. Capac is. Not true. I do save him. Whoa, where am I? That's weird. Let's try that again. Well, the med bay. <laughs> yeah, I build a med bay. That's enough. Capac ah, builds uh, too. Bird, bird, bird. 
Be, be, be. <laughs> this is uncomfortable. <laughs> Those were some uh, true facts. Not have said it better myself. <laughs> deserves most of his deaths. The truth. Why now? He does bring a lot of pain upon himself. Uh, speaking of which, Capac won't be here today. Oh no. Yeah. I believe he's doing a trip to the airport. Oh? Yeah. Speaking of pain that he, t <laughs> that he brought upon himself, agreeing to pick someone up from the airport is indeed pain you bring upon yourself. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Especially how far away we live from the airport. <laughs> uh. My partner and I don't even drive to the airport to pick each other up. We drive to the train wow. station that's near us, and the person coming on from the plane catches the train. I see. Well, especially now with Toby. But yeah, okay, that does make a bit more sense. It's mostly just, like, it's super easy to catch the train from the airport. So we just get on the train and catch it up to the nearest train station. Yeah. There. I think if we'd gone away for a while, we'd probably make the effort to drive down, though. Not with a. Not if it's just been a few days or a week or something. Man, that is upsetting when you get flung miles in the air and then instantly teleported back as you walk along a piston. Yeah. That is about the experience I have as well. Just a bit more regularly. Not exclusive to subgrids. Yep. Oh, Tex, I feel, I feel that statement so deep to my core. Honestly, it's not the way I look that reveals my age. It's my use of complete sentences when I text. Or my use of complete sentences when I reply to comments on YouTube. Oh. <laughs> All that. Because mm -hmm. <laughs> I do that. Or that I reply to comments on YouTube. Yeah. Yeah. There is that too. Why don't we have any steel plate? Probably because it's not being made. Now it is. I, I sometimes stubbornly refuse to answer some comments that are written in like what seems to be deliberately broken spelling because oh. there's just no way that anyone with English as a second language could think that that's the way you spell so one thing that bothers me about messages like that is that sometimes they do end up correcting part of their sentence except it's usually not the bit that is so Obviously wrong. <laughs> Why is there an angly red cow up there? Those who play Deep Rock Galactic know the reference. Um. Sure. Guess I haven't played it enough. I cannot believe what I'm hearing. That I Did you never all that slap much? the dice? The, the, I don't remember it. I don't the, remember there being dice. The fuzzy red dice! Nope, don't remember them at all. <laughs> I what? really didn't play it a lot. I. Wow. 
Uh, I feel like Deep Rock Galactic Survivor is more of a Capac thing than a me thing. Oh. Which also makes it a shadow thing. Oh, not sure about that one. Isn't it just Vampire Survivor Deep Rock Galactic styles? Exactly. Which is why I'm like, hmm. No, you won't touch it because you got addicted to Vampire Survivor. I won't touch it because it's a bad port. Oh, well, port. It, it's a bad clone. Ah. From what I've seen, at least. Like, this is not speaking from personal experience. This is more like I saw the Steam page and read the reviews and it's like... Don't bother. <laughs> Was it even made by the same people? Uh, I think... Or did they pay another no? developer to make it? Honestly, not sure. It did there seem like... Like, from the outside, it did seem like a bit of a cash grab. Yeah, no, it, it's definitely riding the hype. Alright, after this pass, I'll add a second piston in and rebuild it and do another one. We should be getting a moderate amount of resources from here. I guess I should add some bots to the dice. You could make them out of actual dots. As in a wall uh, text you, plate. You probably yeah want to use may yeah, although the dots aren't going to be centered, so you may want to use either hyphens or O's. I was thinking piston parts. Yeah, I suppose that'd work too. There'll be enough se separation between them. Yeah, there we go. Was not made by the same developers. So they hired it out. That actually makes me feel relieved that it's not the actual developers who pulled that game out of their... Oh, their minds, I guess. Inventory because, full. honestly, it feels more like a concept than a proper game. But, then again, I'm not a game dev, so... Shadow's salty. Yeah, yeah, I am. <laughs> this is bad for wanting a game that is mostly original and has fun mechanics, rather than being a clone of another game. No. Which is also why I don't really do AAA games anymore. Oh. I love it when um, my hinge is at 270 degrees. There we go. Apparently oh, I accidentally yeah. put hinge lock on. <laughs> There's something missing here. Nomus, you're asking too much. A game to be complete on release? Or functional? Is this early access release or proper release? <laughs> unfortunately, those uh, are well, all unfortunately. You, you, you're living in a dream world. <laughs> I wish you weren't. And I'm being facetious. Mm -hmm. But it does feel like that's a dream beyond our reality. Yep. Also, those things are white. What am I doing? Oh, that is tempting. I just found a one by one block that is perfectly round. But you're not gonna like it. Oh, the sound blocks. Yeah, they're, but they're not yes. perfectly white. They're not as paintable. Yeah, and they do not have a lot of white, I suppose. Um, Shadow, just a heads up. Your platform is going to get run into by the drills. The platform you're building oh. on. Oh. Hey, you better not slap my dice with those pistons. 
I'm hoping I'm not going to mine quite that high, but I'm going to try and get to the top of where you started digging out. Uh, uh. That's the goal. Oh, we're out of iron. We have to do some manual mining again. Uh... <clears throat> Off, like on this next pass, I should actually be collecting a decent amount of resources because I'll be into stone, not just dirt. See a fire strike? Hey, my voice is coming mm. back. No, it's not. It's going in. Never mind. I keep getting I mean, excited that my voice is... Yeah. I can still hear the difference. And one of the things that really bugs me is I find it... I find I sound a bit flat when I've got my slightly sick voice going. I'm like, no. I sound so flat and boring. I don't want to sound like that. Thank you, Mavalite. Thanks so much for the tier 2 for 32 months. What are we up to? I am... Working on a drill rig. Shadow is working on a dangly die. I am cooking frameworks, apparently. That's what we do. Um. Whoops. Uh, Vox, no, it, I mean, it could be, ears could be contributory, but I'm more thinking, um, when I'm editing myself and I've recorded while I was sick and then I'm hearing myself when I'm well, as in, I'm now well and I'm listening to my sick voice and I'm like, Bleh. I find I want to edit a lot more of myself out. Uh, which, fortunately for this week's AA, can rather conveniently, Capac and TFE went off and did something hilarious. So I can edit myself out quite happily because they did something cool. Well, uh, at least funny. Merlin, there's a reason why I'm not doing the sensible thing here. I am following the exact design of the dice, just because I want it to be proper. Which means that four is on top. You doing the dice wrong? Apparently. Just following the game's uh, design. Did the artist who did the dice do it wrong? Mm -hmm. tut, tut, tut. Yeah, it could be the Capac and TFV show number two. Yep. Hey, Splits, when you have a moment, could you be a platform for me? I need to weld up some stuff that I can't quite reach. And I don't want to jump onto the dice that is very dangly right now. Seems fair. Uh, yeah, I can come be a platform in a sec. Where are you? Oh, there. Okay. I prefer not to touch hinge overrides when I don't have to. Where am I delivering you to? Oh, the piston. Yep. Yeah. Yes. Thank you. Well, that worked. I'm surprised I didn't break anything. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> I, uh, Most of all, surprised than... I didn't break you. I can be sturdy sometimes. <laughs> Yay, we have a dangly dice. Although it doesn't really look like a dice anymore, but... Nah. Um... 
You could try it with the O's instead and see if they fit the bill a bit better. Yeah, too late to change it now. Oh man. Uh, would you mind doing some drilling as well? Yep. I can't get enough parts to make this uh, drill. <laughs> Thanks, Theron. Thank you for the prime sub. How's it going? Uh, could you lift me up to the hubble? Oh. Hey! The wolf! Hey! Hey! Who? Held it. Thank you. You're welcome. I thought I could jump into it from this angle, but I unfortunately could not. So, Shadow, I'm not sure whether you had your wireless headphones on. Could you hear what I was talking about with um, my ideas on where you might put your landing platform for your delivery drone? Nope. Uh, so, with your bridge, it's quite high, the top of it. Mm-hmm. I was wondering whether you want to make the bridge a bit thicker, like you were thinking of putting solar panels on top as the kind of roadway, but um, maybe make the landing platform on the bridge, because then the drone is flying high and is less likely to run into any wind turbines. Yeah, and then we could even, like if we wanted to, turn that bridge into a tunnel. I guess I'm not allowed to. The game says no. GC invasion uh, of Loras has started. I don't know, I, th I think Godocorp is going to be our biggest enemy here. Yeah. We will take way too long to deal with them. They will become super powerful. And by the time we're ready to deal with them, uh, they'll be able to squash us like an ant. Probably, although ants are not that squashable. They're more squashable than millipedes or centipedes. Centipedes. <sighs> centipedes are really hard to squash. so much. Oh. I'm gonna explain it. Inertia tensioners were not enabled? No, uh, the hinge was off. Oh! That might have been my doing. Sorry. Did you turn all the hinges off? Yeah. I forgot that you were also using a hinge. Right. Uh, I think four... Four drills is probably high enough, isn't it? For the back, the height that you've drilled at the back there? Yeah. Or do we want to go five? I mean, if we want to drive the rover in there, it's always good to have a little bit of extra space, especially with your fancy ramp. Oh yeah, for if we have to deploy the stairs while we're inside. I don't think 9,000 is a feasible number of drills. No, the 600 and something odd that I built in AA says uh, performance-wise, no. 9,000 is not feasible. <laughs> yeah, the only thing you'll be mining there is your sim speed. Yeah, every time I try and use Build Planner, it caused a massive pause for everybody. <laughs> And playing without build planner is just not feasible anymore. Once you get used to it, you cannot, like, you cannot let go. Wait, is that? That's not actually far enough out. Let's go. Bye. Oh right, I can offload here. Is there an actual way to destroy bushes? No. 
No, not really. You can sometimes get lucky and use voxel hands or drilling around them and sometimes they'll delete. But other times they'll just stay. Forever. Forever and ever and ever. When the planet implodes, the bushes will still be there. <laughs> I heard the biggest danger with Australian spiders are not that they are venomous, but that people get scared and do stupid things like run off the road. Uh, probably true. Um, we've got really good access to anti-venom in Australia, so even when people get bitten by our spiders and envenomated, they very rarely get particularly unwell or even... And, and especially very, very rarely die. Like, I think there since the 1980s, there's been fewer than five deaths to spiders here. Thanks, Tango19. Thank you for the sub. Thanks to the brave work of people who milk spiders for their venom. But similarly, um, snake bites really haven't killed many people either. Most of the people who die to envenomations from things in Australia are living or working, or just happen to be when they're bitten. Uh, they're quite remote, so they're not near enough to a hospital that has access to antivenom. Uh, because it's impractical to have antivenom where those people are. More than halfway across, this is good. But yeah, the because the Sydney funnel web is literally in one of the most populated parts of the country, and it is the most venomous, most deadly from a venom point of view. Um, particularly because it's also a fairly aggressive spider. They tend to happen in populated areas. As far as I'm aware, Night Hunter, the most venomous spider in on the planet is still the Sydney funnel web. By amount of times it can kill you. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, you just got the weird teleporty nonsense. No, I could launch into space. Yeah, that, that's what I'm talking about. Teleporting nonsense. <laughs> that scared me good. Thank you, NCC. <laughs> Thank you so much for the 20 gift subs. I need to have a look at how... For the 390. All up. Boing, boing. Thank you so much, NCC. Thank you showing me the way. But we've also got the cutest spiders, because we've got lots of jumping spiders here, too. I love jumping spiders! Like, we They're often just have cute. a jumping spider or two in our house, and it's so fun! Like, we had... Like, my mom was on her laptop one day, and one of the jumping spiders popped up on the screen and started chasing after the cursor! It was so cute! Oh yeah! Because they'll chase laser pointers. Like cats do. Yeah! Jumping and also, will... fun fact about jumping spiders, they actually recognize humans. They are able to memorize our faces. Yeah. They're so... Yeah. And also a big reason why I love spiders. They're adorable. If you can look past the creepy crawly bits of them. Well, it's because of the two giant, like, the two really big eyes. And then the, lot, then the smaller ones, so it gives cute. them a kind of cartoony aspect. Although I, honestly, I am a fan of creepy crawlies as well. Like, I do love snakes, I love bats. Also, if you want to see something absolutely adorable, look up bats eating grapes. It's so <laughs> hilarious. Uh, that is such a shadow comment. I love it. I'm weird. Yeah. Yeah, I am. Yep. And I'm okay with Don't this. Don't change. Be weird. Weird is better. 
You can't have normal people without weird people. I'm only doing the world of surface by being weird. Yeah, I think we'll That's go drill works, number right? five when I get on the next pass. TFE is probably watching me do this being like, ugh, these drills again? Uh, yeah, I've enabled inertia tensor on the two pistons. I don't enable it on the hinge. Because if I enable it on the hinge, the hinge then has to, to move the mass of the base as it moves, and that's often too much for a hinge. You aren't allowed to cross the streams like this. I mean, like, building grinder pits in two series simultaneously and learning from both. <laughs> so which one would you actually use? Grinder pit. Yeah. Honestly, if I can get away with it, none. <laughs> wow. I try so hard to make them work, and they just don't like me anymore. Or ever. I find it really hard to be motivated to make them. Aww. They seem to be actively against me. Yeah, or they get hit by jerks. Exactly. That happens too. Oh, I saw that happen. Oh. <laughs> I... I felt so bad. <laughs> and also, I... It was very amusing in its own... It's okay, you're way. allowed to laugh at my pain. Honestly, if I wasn't okay with people laughing at my pain, I really shouldn't be making a living as a content creator. Yeah, no. That, that's something I usually tell people as well. Like, if you cannot take criticism or deal with yourself being an idiot and people laughing at it, don't do YouTube, don't do Twitch. <laughs> yeah, don't. especially the B. Especially people telling you you're an idiot when you're not. That you have to deal with as well. Yeah. You, you have do to figure need a out bit how of to deal with sense. that. How do I deal with someone telling me on it, telling me I'm an idiot, even when they're wrong? Just ignore them. Yeah, but some people find that very difficult to be ignoring. In exactly, Nuki. Who isn't an idiot? We're all idiots. Yeah. Although depending I on do the day, depending say... on how much coffee for some people, depending on all sorts of other things. I do have to say, like, for smaller content creations, it is way harder to ignore chat. Like, back when I had, like, three max viewers, it is very hard to ignore chat. Like, you want to respond to every single chat, and now I'm like, yeah, chat is going. That's I, cool. I feel I do understand what you're talking about, because it was the same when I was replying to every single comment. Because ah. I had the time to, so I replied to literally everything, even the rude things. But now I'm like, well, I could spend time replying to the rude person, or I could spend time replying to three nice people. So I'll reply to them instead. And I'll feel better about yeah. my day. I personally don't understand, like, why would you be rude to someone on the internet like that? Like, why? Anonymity. Because you've had a bad day. Yeah. Because someone else was mean to you and it's the only method you have to take it out on anyone. Yeah. I'm not saying it's, it's right, just... I'm just saying that's probably the reason. Yeah, I know a lot, a lot like many people do think that way and it's something I myself just never get behind. Like if I'm having a bad day, I'm just gonna try and hang out with some friends and then forget the fact that I was having a bad day. <laughs> yes, Ada. Why work on yourself when you can put nasty words on the interwebs? Yeah. 
uh, chat is big enough now we have created our own settlements and civilizations. So, there are a variety of different games out there that um, are made for chat to control the game themselves. Like, one of the things I remember seeing at PAX two years ago was a game called Streamtown, where basically you can leave your stream up when you go on breaks and chat can control everything, and it's a city builder. Has anyone ever actually been on a stream that has those things? Because I imagine... Um, I, 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 I don't even know what to imagine with them. So, I have seen a lot of stream raiders and participated in a lot of stream raiders, but it wasn't very interactive. It was more like, oh, uh, you can raiders? get a unit. Um, how do we explain it? It's like an auto battler. Okay. Where every 30 minutes or so a battle happens and viewers can put in a unit every 15 minutes, I think. So basically the viewers have to build up an army so the streamer can engage in a raid. So yeah. you can defeat enemies and get rewards for defeating said enemies. It's quite cute, like if the streamer quickly has to go and break or it's also a good reminder to quickly take a break from the game you're playing. One unit every five minutes up to six on the field. That sounds about right. Okay. Because uh, the reason I was thinking about these <clears throat> was if I managed to um, figure out a way I can either set up one of my other PCs to actually be a stream rig for my garage or go out and buy another GPU so that I can do that. I was thinking yeah. something like that Ooh. may or may not work well alongside like the Lego streams or things like that that I've done in the past. Or like mm. trying to convince Capac to give it a try with his workshop streams. Where they're having... Because you, cause you're already <laughs> doing multicam setups. You can have a cam set up just for the, the stream game. Like, for those slower, more chat-heavy uh, stream types, are things like that entertaining? And I've just never seen anyone using them, so I've, I've just got so little experience to draw from. Arguably, from the streamers that I watched, or, well, the smaller streamers that I watch, because I don't really watch any big streamers, it's... it's a fun mechanic, although it does require some attention to manage it as well. Because you do tend to need to, or well, need to, like you are supposed to do it every 30 minutes or so. Yeah. And it is something you will have on your screen, which I know you're probably very much against. Well, no, I, that's again why that's, I was thinking of it more for specific types of content, not something like Space Engineers. I feel like Space Engineers and a lot of the other first person survival games that I play, something like that would be quite distracting and probably a bit off-putting. Um, so I wouldn't want to use it yeah. there. Much like a face cam. <laughs> but something where you're already using multiple cameras or multiple perspectives. Having an extra one that allows people to interact with it when there's less going on visually. I made me wonder whether it might be of interest. But I've just yeah, as I said, I have so little experience with this stuff that I I don't even know whether I'm thinking something completely stupid. Well... <laughs> okay, I don't know well, whether I... <laughs> I don't know how stupid the thing I'm thinking is. Is that a better way to put it? Oh, for, like, home streams, yeah, that definitely does work. Like, if you have a game that doesn't require a lot of attention or isn't that visually pleasing to look at all the time, it, it is fun to just have a fewer interaction moment. Mm. Because that is how I saw most people play those games. They just took a moment to pause their game and just talk to chat for a while and then narrate over the battle that was happening. Yeah. Personally, I have considered doing it as well. Oh, lock incoming. But I just haven't put in the effort yet. Right, I'm not sure way. if I will. What you doing out there? I'm welding. Ah. Okay, cool. 
I'm just controlling a drill rig right now. That's about all I'm up to. How much further do I need to get across? Oh, I'm also going to have to limit the range of the hinge at some point. Figure out another way to cutting that last little bit. Because I'm going to run into the curve. Is this where we make a very complicated crane setup? Well, I guess it wouldn't be smooth then. <laughs> One week to an Elmo head cam for this stream to break out Shadow. <laughs> no, no, no. Dwarf, we tend to like Shadow. We don't want to give her a heart attack. <laughs> Worf? No, Worf. as in Takari Worf. just said that to Dwarf because Dwarf was the one who suggested the Elmo head. I... Wouldn't this be a perfect time to automate the drill? Um... I don't really know how much I can automate this drill. I mean, at best, a timer block and event controller. Yeah, but I, I I can't remember what the steps, as in the step sizes, are for increase maximum distance on a piston when using a timer block. I need to look Not into that first. Not a lot. Because that's how I'm extending it on each pass. One meter. Oh, so I could do that. I mean, this has only got two more passes to go, so... And then I have to build the whole thing from scratch again anyway. I might actually build it in a different location to try and get the last little bits. Uh, because... Oh, Merlin, I... Sorry, go on. You go. Merlin, I like Elmo. I highly dislike Spritzy wearing the Elmo head. It gives me nightmares. <laughs> wow. Although it was fun to continuously remind you to wear the Elmo head during that stream. Yeah. Yeah. Also, was it the first stream where I joined you, like, on stream? Um, I think so, yeah. Oh, the nightmares that were had. We'd and we talked about it ahead of time. Like you didn't just join me out of out of the blue. That one, right? I yeah, thought. no. You you properly asked me like, "Hey, I'm doing X. Would you like to join me for X?" And yeah, I yeah. was like, "Yeah, sure." And then you were asking me like, "Are you gonna stream as well?" And I was like, "I wasn't planning on it, but I can." Unlike poor Tex, who just got randomly invited in the middle of a wrong way downstream. <laughs> Just out of the blue. No warning, nothing. Yeah, the, the Elmo head can only really be used in winter. It's not really a summer thing. Donk the dice as this goes through? Or am That's I just fine. Oh, well, if you do donk the dice, all the hinges are off, so. Yes, ah, and sweat in me, board. Elmo. Yep. Uh, <laughs> that does not sound right. Uh, uh, uh. So we're going to scout out another base to lob hydro tanks at? Well, we've got magnesium, so we shouldn't need to lob hydrogen tanks. We can just lob... Um... Armed warheads. Uh-oh. Um... What is that? That ITC ship is going quite fast. Yeah, it's not... Oh! Doing... It's running away from the GC ship. Oh. I think. Okay. Most interesting. So one more pass will get me... Yeah. 
need just ah uh, just need a little bit more you <sighs> what's wrong mm. you blew up scaffolding without replacing it so now I cannot place the scaffolding so I cannot get into my bubble from here you can't just reach from there no, because if I try to jump, I will bump my head. But I cannot place a block back because my thing is already docked. Uh. Ow! It's like, where's That's the thruster that's cooking me? Well, you just can't reach the cockpit, can you? The ba -da -ba. Dead trust! Never! Now try. Oh. One thing that I will try is just doing this. I mean, you could do that. Fine. And I'm still unable to place because it is technically considered a separate grid now, so... Ah, that's not what I'm trying to do. <laughs> place it! Place it! Nope. Wait, where did I place that? Hmm. Happy now? Yes. Good. Although I am about to bop myself. Ah. Well, at least we're, you know, actually mining. This is quicker to mining than my first mining rig back on Loris. Don't remind me. <laughs> uh, that we never actually used because we didn't need it. After I built the massive snow rig. Really? Yet you kept adding to it, making it more and more cursed. You mean the spotlights? You liked the spotlights. It added movement and color to our base. No comment. Pretty sure there's a quote on the internet of you saying you were actually happy with it. I enjoyed the lighting that it put on the terrain, but I highly disliked the rig itself. Yeah, that sounds about right. It hurts my soul. No. It delights your soul. It lights up your days and nights with color and smiles. And disturbing images. Hey, that's on you. Yes, but it still <laughs> activated it. So I gotta think through how I'm gonna sort this out once this pass is done. Because <sighs> I wanna make sure that I've got this flat surface going all the way across to where the other side drops down to. And I probably would be best off just drilling out just enough for me to start building the, the rig that moves forward. And the other thing is, do I attempt to build some sort of auto-extending mining thing? Uh, since Shadow had tried to do that before and was unable to finish it because we moved, we left Lazuno. The crawler. Yeah. So I think this might be an okay situation for a crawler to go f horizontal for a while anyway. Uh... Yeah, the problem with a crawler is that you can't really automate it. Like, fully automate it, because when something messes up, it messes up. Like, it will crawl off of the edge. And that is the one thing I am worried about with those things. Like, personally, I just have it be, like, at the press of a button, I will do that. Although, actually... Well, my I thought... suppose you can have a cargo container as special cargo and then an event controller that checks fill level. Oh, to turn it all off, yeah. Yeah. So what I'm thinking is, 
for this tunnel boring machine, I'm going to have five drills only. Those five drills will go from one side all the way to the other side. And then it'll move forward two meters. And then it'll slide all the way back, forward two meters. Then slide all the way forward and keep going left to right like that with just five drills. It, or maybe it may be more drills than five. The reason it may be more is just if I can't manage to get the pistons in such a way that, which I don't think I can, I think I need to have at least three drills so that I can completely go from the edge of the piston right over to the edge of the other piston. This will all be um, piston mounted. Because if I can build that and get that working with, say, two or three pistons length to push in, I can then develop the crawler part after having a working drill that actually gets us some resources here. Uh huh. Because I can manually expand it until later, and then I can later add the more automated self extending thing. Yeah, self extending merge block connector combination, exactly. That was a very fun to build. Yeah, so I thought I could try and give that a go here. But we'll need to have, like, easy set up here to make sure that there are enough components made and always available for the bit that needs to be printed, that sort of thing. Mm-hmm. Um, which means we'll also have to be using Izzy's to decide how much and if the um, automated transport drone can take materials as well. Which will be... Which will be um, Shadow, can you figure that out? I mean, it's literally just an event controller and a sorter. Oh, you're thinking you use a... So when special is not full... We will turn off the sorter that will push ingots into the drone. Ah, yeah, good call. Nice, I like that idea. Simple. Yeah. Only adds one... Well, actually it doesn't add any blocks. Since we need the sorter anyway. Yeah. All right. Unless we um... put Izzy's on the drone itself, which I'm not a fan of. No, I prefer Izzy's being confined to a base. Alright, time to get rid of this drill. And build the next bit out. Keep it up, boy. We'll do the last section. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Dwarf, that's kind of what Shadow's going to be building here, too, is a an automated transfer for ingots drone. So we can get our stone-based ingots from here, so we don't have to scar up the terrain near our own, near our proper base. But because this planet is where we're planning on staying long term, we can both feel good about Shadow and I doing little greeble things like the bridge there with the cool looking sign on it. Not sure about the TOS of that sign though. The what? No, never mind. <laughs> Did you put terms of service on the sign? No, no, it. <laughs> Don't worry about it. <laughs> Is this a I'm old and I should feel old moment? It's more a I'm worried about you as a content creator if you don't know what I mean. Huh? It... Or should I do terms a terms of service? Uh? I did do. I did say terms of but terms of service of the site. I'm just, oh, oh! I get what you're getting at now. There you go. It has clicked. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. That's what the hot tub category's for. Whoa. Sorry, the art category. Oh, oh! I. Hmm. Hmm. I have my opinions on that, and I'm probably not going to share them here. Oh, don't worry. I, I feel like my sarcasm expressed my opinions on it. Yeah, no, it's just that the art category is not what it used to be, and it hurts. But didn't they fix it by rescinding all their changes the same very same day? No, it it's not <laughs> body Again. art, which Again. I am sarcasm. talking about. I know. <laughs> 
the body art that I'm talking about here. Okay. It's what is being. It's drawn. when they briefly allowed anything in the art category. Ugh. Oh, you need motors and tubes. Yeah. Coming right up. Thank you. I presumed you'd noticed that I'd been rearranging your stuff a bit. I mean, the only stuff I had was, like, bulletproof glass. How is this gonna look? Uh, no text. We're a long way from building our water well slash hydro supply power thing. Um, this is this is us starting to collect res resources on flood lice, um, and we will attempt to do those other things later. Jenna, do you need all those steel plate ordered up, or can I cancel them? Uh, you can cancel them for now. Because we got almost... Yeah, we've got a bit at the moment. I'm just trying to build the drill head, and I know it's going to get weird. I'm trying to figure out how much... Oh, no. I built this too far out. out. I need to get one block back. So I want to fit a piston and a drill. Okay. Yeah, the block I'm looking for does not exist. I'm looking for like a half block with a step up, like a half ramp. Um, and I'm not talking one by two. I'm. Uh, I think I know which block you are looking for, and I think it exists under the sloped corner light armor tip. Yeah, only the... The light armor raised, raised corner. slope corner. Yeah, no, I'm looking for one that only has, like... A half ramp, rather oh, than a ramp. corner. Right, right. Yeah. Yeah. No, no blocks like that exist. But yeah, I, I made it work. No, I, th I think the base might end up being named something like Clindathu's Kitchen. Do what now? <laughs> well, because because as I like that was the idea I had because it's a truck stop, but it's a truck stop on Clindathu. So right. Clindathu's Kitchen. I am. Um... That does not help. <laughs> <laughs> you have seen super uh super troopers uh starship troopers right <clears throat> uh <gasps> really i think I, you'd enjoy it i'm sure i would It'd also make a lot of um, <laughs> various memes make a lot more sense. Don't talk to me about memes, Mister. Hey, hey, hey. Don't, however I'm you just, called it. I, you seem to be more interested in memes making sense than I care to care about. You care to care about? Okay. Also, as I've mentioned before, <clears throat> I was meme impaired. From a very young age, I never cared about anything in popular culture. I was always just like, eh, I don't care. Not interested. You know, I do have to say, sometimes I am very... Like, very tempted to send you a meme one of these days. And see your reaction. But also, I prefer not spamming you with memes. I would probably just send you the clip of TFE's confused noises. <laughs> Challenge accepted, I suppose.
And that is the last time I ever did something with Splitzy. <laughs> I don't think I'm that bitter. I'd hope not. I actually don't think I'm that I'm bitter. I try not to be bitter at all. Because I just... Uh, it just feels like work. Why not just be happy? Don't worry. Be happy. Right now I have that song in my head. Good luck with that. Thanks. I prefer lager over bitter. Ah. Uh... Depends on the mood. Which type of beer I would prefer. Just remember, service guarantees citizenship. Yes, ciders or ciders almost always come in eventually, usually when I'm too full to drink more beer. Uh-huh. No, seriously, I they get to a point where I've had like a few beers and I'm like I'm just too full. I don't understand how people enjoy that. Then again, I I have an awful mouth. I do not enjoy alcohol. Um. I guess I, for a lot of people, like for me, it's I. It is a flavor thing. I genuinely enjoy the flavor of beer. But I, I think for a fair number of people, it's the social potential that comes with these things that they end up enjoying. <laughs> well, I suppose that uh, explains a lot then. I am not the outgoing type. I am very much a hermit when it comes to that. Although I have been trying to improve it lately more of the world. Well, you went to Prague. Yeah. So, I'd say that's a pretty good effort. Okay, is this going to still clear? So what I'm planning on doing here, the reason I went to the smaller drill build with just a single piston, I think it'll get me far enough that I can clear this spot, which means then I can start building the swipe drill head and seeing what I can do with that. Because I wanted to try and clear this as quickly as possible. And I figured if I made it on a shorter <laughs> thing, I can make the rotation speed much faster because the drill head itself is moving at the same speed as it would be if it was long. Yeah, Shadow, I don't think you should uh, be so harsh on yourself about your lack of going out. You did a pretty good job being adventurous and going to the 10 year thing. That was the one time I went out in 19 years? Yeah, but I didn't go overseas until I was... Um, well, my first overseas trip was like 24? Admittedly, it's a lot further for me to go to go overseas. Yeah, I was about to say, like, <laughs> going a to a different expensive. country in Europe is a little bit different than yeah. traveling to an entirely different continent. But still, like... Hello. Oh. Um, are you control... you are controlling that. Yep. <laughs> I'm in the spotlight. See me shine.
How bad is that? Alright, I'm gonna do a thing. It's not... And Shadow's not gonna like it, but I think it'll be a better option than what I've been trying to do. Hmm. Well, I thought they would emit a little bit more light than they do now, but... Hmm. Um, we're, I think we're playing with my Searchlights mod. Yeah. Uh, which so. means they are a very narrow beam, but they shoot out a long way. At that point, I should just make them red laser pointers. Yeah. What if I do, like, this? Does that work at all? No. No. I'll have to I repair mean... this when I'm done, but for now that just needs to go. Oh, is that? That's actually... Probably on the line I need it to be on. Cool. So what mod is used for the compass? Uh, the compass mod. I, I think it's literally just called compass. Isn't it? HUD compass? I think it's, it's HUD compass, yeah. Hey. Yeah. There you go. Uh, yes, Tommaso. I would say that for pretty much anyone who doesn't live in the Caribbean, traveling to the Caribbean would be going overseas. <laughs> I would say so. That'd be my opinion. I certainly count it as going overseas. I had to go over the Pacific Ocean. I do want to see more of the world, even though I'm not really one to go to fiestas. I just want to meet friends. I'm hoping that one day I will realistically be able to consider getting to Europe again. It's been a long time since I've been there. I don't think when I was last in Europe. Might have been... Last Gamescom? Oh, well, last Gamescom. I've never been to Gamescom. Really? Yeah, I was planning on going and Wasted and I had booked everything. And then COVID. Ah. Um. And... I think, I think the last time I was there was when I... Might have been 2017? 2016. I'm trying to remember. No, it'd have to be 27. Oh. Have to be 2017. Um, because I remember this. It was after I'd first released my after I'd released my very first tutorials for Space Engineers. Um, and I remember being in my brother's place in Switzerland and replying to comments on those tutorials, telling people. Yes, I will be back in Australia soon. I'll be trying to make more tutorials then. But for now, I'm overseas and can't do anything. Hmm. Uh, I do not have a Swiss brother. I have an Australian brother <laughs> who, for a time, worked and lived in Switzerland. He now lives in Dublin. That's another reason I want to go to Europe again. It's to visit and see my nephews. Well, it does make it a little bit more affordable if you can sleep there, I suppose. Yeah. There's one thing I was very lucky with when I came to Prague. A Scandinavian friend of mine actually moved to Prague. So I was able to just uh, sleep on the couch there for a week. Old couch surfing. Yeah. Okay. Time to see if I've. Time to do things more, um. 
directly targeted towards getting the proper drill rig built. Inventory full. low. So I think I've got kind of enough prepped that I can do it now. Eh, drop the components in that. Okay. <laughs> that fell off. Yeah, I, I've been to Europe a few times, um, and I've been to the UK quite a few times, and I would like to go back at some point. Let there be lights. Inventory full. Ah, using spotlights now. Good idea. I feel like I might need to move him up a little bit more. Or is... Do you yeah. think this is fine? Probably a little bit more up. This time the spotlights needs up. Let's okay. say... Let's think this through. I actually started over here. Whoa. Where are you guys going? Alright, before, before I start thinking too hard, I'm going to take a quick bio break. <laughs> <laughs> ah, Ooh. you're going to the thinking room. Yeah. That didn't change anything. I'll be right back. Oh, wait, no, I made it worse. What am I doing? Oh, have a good one, Keith. So, while Spitzy is AFK, do we get to play stream captains or something? <laughs> Wait, Spitzy butchered the arch? Oh. Oh, no, I'm. I'm taking my revenge for that one. And I'm back. Welcome back. Okay, swiper drills. So I really need to stack the pistons to make this work. Because if they're all just a long line of pistons, then it's not going to actually stack and put the drills where I need them to be. So, let's start bringing this all the way back here to there, and then we go piston. Wish we can do this a bit more simply and not just do piston. Oh no, wait, I can't. I need to do it every every single one. How far? How wide is this gap? That's the other thing. Shall I? Mm -hmm. Oh, never mind. One, two, three, four, five, six. So 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 across. So 19, I need to have five pistons.
Oh yeah, I'll, I'll repair the arch, don't worry. I thought Shadow saw me do that before. I was doing it so I didn't hit the arch with my drills and break it. I wanted to make sure I ground out the bits to make sure it was safe. I did not see you do that. I was probably preoccupied by something. Ah. Yeah. No, no I, I knew I was doing something not Energy. great, but no. I also thought it was the better option of the available ones. Uh-huh. <laughs> My chat thinks you're quite angry at me. Energy yeah. critical. Oh, they're correct, are they? Yeah. But, 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 but I was doing the right thing. One, two, three, four. By destroying the Greeble I'm working on. I would not call that the right thing. I didn't destroy it. I just took a section out to make sure I didn't destroy it. Uh-huh, uh-huh. So you destroyed it preemptively. Uh. I feel like there's no right answer to this. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, there like, is not. I feel like I'm trapped. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Okay, but what are you working on right now? Oh, my spaghetti. <laughs> yeah. Would you like some help welding that up? Uh, that would be delightful. Um, on it. I'm just trying to think of if there's a way to do this without needing, and I don't think there is. No, it definitely needs to have enough drill heads that it covers the full depth of the piston. So. This is to excavate a flat area, correct? This is to excavate into the mountain. Eventually. Although I've forgotten a component that I should have made to make that possible. And I might need to And do you want that to be flat or? Yeah, yeah. So yeah, let me just lay out what I think, distance. what my plan is at the moment. And then you can see if you can figure out a way to make it work better. Like the one problem I see is, well, it's going to move a lot because of the amount of subgrids. Uh, it shouldn't, if, if they're all on share inertia tensor. Mm, I suppose it is connected to a static grid, but... Yeah. So the I idea is... I have had static grid connections wobble a lot. But the idea is, it'll and it... um, start here drill from this side and then all the pistons will extend pushing these drills over to the far side and then it can push then the bit that I forgot to lay out which I'm going to have to undo this all to do are uh, the pistons that are going to push it into the mountain so it does a row across and then one of those pushes, pistons that pushes it in pushes in then it does a row back then it pushes in row four back and forth why remove everything can't you nest it above no, no, because I've I've attached this directly to the base, and I need to put pistons between this yeah. whole rig and the base. And given I've only laid it out, it's probably quicker Wait. to rip the whole thing apart, put the pistons in, rather than um, using merge block shenanigans to try and get it hooked so, up. So you just want to go forwards, right? Yeah. And oh, and left wait, and right. trying to make this a crawler. And left and right. It needs to go left, right. It needs to go all the way to the right, then it goes forward a bit, then all the way to the left, then it goes forward a bit, then all the way to the right, then it goes forward a bit. So this is the crawler? This will be the thing that gets mounted on the crawler eventually, yeah, if it works. Okay. I can work with that, though. Um, uh, well, I guess the big benefit yeah, of having a crawler... Is that it will automatically lay down a conveyor line as well, which we can then access from inside the mine. Yeah, if but we initially ever decide to turn this into another base or something. Uh, but initially, to make enough space for that, we need to use pistons, and we need the pistons for the crawler anyway, which I haven't included in this design, which I need to fix. A crawler isn't that big. Yep. For what we're doing here, it is. 
The head of the crawler is quite big, yeah. No, no, no. I'm trying to not make the head big because we don't want to have tons and tons of drills. So I'm trying to make it with just a small number of drills. But the, the crawling mechanism is going to be small. <laughs> and it's literally we are, we are definitely one... not speaking about the same things right now. Yeah, no, I, I'm realizing this. Something, something is missing in our discussions with each other. And I can't figure out what it is. I'm going to fill up my water bottle while I think about it. That's it, I'm starting up Clip Studio. One moment, please. That is not how to draw. Like, I think, I think enough people... They are dot matrix printed, Sakari, exactly. And loan. That's kind of what I was thinking. But Shadow's not going to know what that is. No. Oh. Well, at least I don't think I do. Or, uh, yeah, okay, Tex, it's a 3D D printer. Just trying to think how I could make a single line reach all the way over here. <gasps> Oh. Could that work? Oh, uh, what's the point of doing that? If I've had fixed drills to the just main piston bit on the one side and then have the other bit moving back and forth, but that's just extra complexity for no real benefit. So the reason not to go the full width is that it's going to require a minimum of... Uh, hang on. Just shy of... It's like 95 drills? And 95 drills is too many. 95 drills, we will have performance problems. Or we'll be getting on the cusp of it. And when we've got so much other stuff we want to do around here... Um, not good. Hey, Splits, could you do something for me? What? Could you see if you can access the remote control of my miner? Uh, no, I cannot. It is static grid. Oh. I can control it, but someone else is using the ship. Okay, so that doesn't work. Yeah, no, I thought, like, I can just sit in the ship and then you can move it if need be, but I guess I can probably just get in the hmm. bubble. Is it 95 drills? 19 times 5. What's 19 times 5? It's 95, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, because it's 19 blocks across. That's 5 drills up. Yeah, so the size of the hole we want to drill is 19 by 5. And to drill a 19 by 5, I need, like, without making 95 drills, uh, I need to have something that moves the drill head left and right. No, Tommaso, I can't do, I can't do a vertical piston because how do you get the drills down to the bottom? And if the drills go down to the bottom, what about the s-bend bit that's reaching the drills down to the bottom, how does it get up into the ceiling? Because the problem you have if you just build vertically in Space Engineers is there's no way to do that up a bit. I mean, yeah, I, I guess if I was doing up-down and I had the right length, I could just do a, a hinge. Yeah, that could work and start it, go to 90 and then tilt up to the correct height, then go down, move forward two meters, up, down. And we could do, do 19 drills. That would probably be, that would be a much simpler mechanism. It won't be as smooth, true. Actually, that's a good point. It won't be as smooth on the floor because you'll 
you won't be moving along the floor constantly. You sure do have a predicament. Yeah. So... I, I do have another option that I've just thought of. And I think it could work quite well. Let me show you. I basically rebuild the drill rig the same as I had it before, except centered in the middle of the bridge. And we just move that drill rig forward. Because then it does a sweep, then it comes back and does another sweep, then it comes back and does another sweep, and we just make it the exact right length that it goes perfectly to the sides each time. It's only five drills. So, hmm, I have a potential idea. What if you only have one horizontal piston going further into the mountains, but rather than having pistons moving sideways, you just have a rotor that switches to 180. Like oh. the one that moves left and right. Oh, I was just thinking, yeah. Really? I'm standing here. Yes, the time of locks are a thing, and I know you know how to use them. <laughs> but yes, that is revenge. But I, I didn't do anything wrong. I was trying, I was saving your bridge. Rude. By destroying it. Sometimes you need to hurt things a little bit to save them in the long run. Exactly, Splits. And enjoy the fun music. Uh, would you mind helping me build the conveyor line? Sure. No, I'm I'm seeing what I'm saying is more like the surgeon that has to cause a degree of pain to be able to fix things because they can't get in there any other way. That's what I did to the bridge. It was a surgical cut instead of just leaving it to take massive damage from some other random thing. I'm okay with you being a masochist, but leave my bridge out of this. My bridge is not a masochist. masochist. It's not a masochist. It is masochism. No, it's not. It's causing okay, pain me. for joy. It's causing pain to save okay, no. greater pain. I'm gonna fix the bridge, but I can't fix it yet. Because I wasn't sure whether I needed to cut back. Because I still need to cut back and do all this bit of terrain that's now chunky and up here. I have to fix that later. Uh huh. Oh, actually, I should probably um, not have done also, what I just we, did. Also, um, we're out of inventory material oh. again. Oh, great. And unfortunately, I do think I need to wrap it up here. Oh yeah, fair enough. I, I do have a time of zone problem. <laughs> that is quite fair. At least we figured out how I'm going to do these drills. <laughs> so that's a good, good place to have gotten to. Yeah. Thanks, Ghost. Um, I'm... Yes, Shadow? I will be more useful next stream. I want to promise, but it's something I'm gonna try. I what do you can't mean? make promises. You built a but... bridge, you mined things? You helped me build stuff? Yeah, but I didn't you built do a really much cool functionality. Sign. And honestly, without the sign, would we really feel that good about our mine? I'll leave that up to chat. And you. <laughs> <laughs> I, I do have to say, I, I find it hilarious to put that mankini picture, but it does sometimes make me feel awkward because I, I am the one who drew it. I, oh, right, because you're promoting your own stuff. Yeah. Yeah, welcome to my world. It, it feels wrong. Yeah. That no, thing you I, always I tell me I should understand. do more of? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah. about that partner plus, huh? Shh. <laughs> Shh. So how many points did you have? And how many did you need in a month? 300 and you currently have
Fine, I'll check. I'll see if it's updated <laughs> since the start of the stream. Uh, it says 130. Oh. Nice. Oh, Kanita. I, um... Yeah, two more months of hitting the goal and then I can shut up about it for nine months. <laughs> I... Mm. I do really want to talk about that trip, but I probably shouldn't just yet. There was a reason I left it be, because I figured if you wanted to talk about it, you'd have brought it up. Yeah, I mean, that time of the year is approaching, so before I head off, do you mind if I quickly talk about it? No, go for it. So, every year I stream, or I, I do one month of streams for uh, St. Jude's Children's Research Hospital. This is something that I've been doing for three years already. This year being my fourth year. And I got an invitation item to actually come to America to actually go to the hospital there. To meet the people that make that work. And basically the people who I raise money for. Yeah, which is really cool. I've been in, yeah, I'm incredibly honored to have received such an opportunity. Which might also be why I might not be available for one week of our fees. Shadow. But I, uh... Does the humble mining module have no gyros? They're on override. Go to control 2. Why are they on override? Because I wanted to keep myself aligned to the southeast. Oh, okay. Yeah, I was just trying to move this out of the way because I couldn't get in there and mine anything. <laughs> Yeah, I, but mm -hmm. the fact that you've been invited to do that is incredible. Yeah, I, I will say I am not the only one. No, I of am course not. one of many who has been invited to, well, to be met up with as well. And but it's, I, it's very cool and a very cool um, thing for them to do for someone who's been supporting them for a long time. Yeah, like it's the 10th year they are doing something like that. I, I want to uh, hope that whatever um, airline and hotel they're using is providing a lot of the stuff for substantial discount for them. So otherwise, that's I a lot of money so to put well. out. <laughs> yeah. It seems like an interesting choice of uh, funds, if it is. But I presume they would get quite a significant donation on that front. Or maybe there's some large donor who said, specifically for this, please use this funds for this. I mean, so they do have a lot of sponsors like Discord, Humble, yeah. uh, many other things, even Alienware that yeah. support them with that, so. Yeah, so they're probably I'm... all wanting this to build it up even more. Yeah. So I will be uh, trying yeah. to do some good charity streams as well this year. Which I'm not sure exactly when I will start that. Still stuff that is being planned, but also, if people have ideas for fun challenges that I can do during the stream, I'm not talking about Elmo heads, so I don't even suggest it. I uh am I was about open to, say, to don't suggest shaving my eyebrows either. No, I nothing that is going <laughs> to cause long term vanity <laughs> damage. Like, if it's like a face tattoo of the St. Jude thing, sure. I'll happily do that. But an eyebrow needs to remain on my face. <laughs> yes. But, uh, yeah, unfortunately, I do have to go after that yep. promotion. <laughs> I, uh, don't, don't break everything. I'm not gonna break everything. Don't worry. I'm just wanting, I just wanted to get, like, literally that cargo container built so that I could start next time and just have things going. But I'm a little worried that we're not going to have enough resources, even for that. Uh oh But I will probably just stop here and switch over to some more Enshrouded with today, Capac not being here. It'll be TFE and Tex. So, yeah. thanks Shadow. Always fun. Yeah, also we need to talk about that uh, thing we talked about last time. Oh With, yeah, uh, but we can let days. people know about that in the future. We don't need to talk about it yet. Oh no, I meant the 
off stream thing. Uh, huh? I've oh, clearly I'll DM you about it. <laughs> yeah, the, the old... I am clearly <laughs> I am clearly lost. <laughs> you are definitely experiencing some um things. <laughs> System errors, shall we dad, say? <laughs> dad brain. <laughs> yeah, perhaps. Hey, it's a TFE. I'm gonna call it. I'm gonna call it sickness brain. <sighs> Probably RSV or something. Blech. All right. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'll see you. Next. And I'll leave you to, to it. See you, oh, Shadow. Free. Have a good one. Bye.